Where's the beans? I mean, hey, it's Bitfee. Welcome out to another Bitfee stream. Thank you very much for coming out. Today is a Wednesday, and we're going to be playing some more Splinter Cell. I don't know whether or not we're going to get to the full campaign today or not. I don't know. I do know that there's a bunch of extra um, DLC missions that I have not done, but we will get to those when we get to those. I hope you guys are having a very good day. Oh, apparently as there's a thunderstorm over where Bunny is. Okay, well, stay safe where you're at. I mean, the good news is that that is rainwater. And that means that there is, uh, well, I don't know how much rainwater it is. Sometimes it's just a whole bunch of, like, lightning, not much else. And also, we have Nova over there on the YouTube. Hello, how you doing? Oh, I know that um, I'm very happy that we've gotten a very decent amount of rain so far. I'm kind of hoping that that sticks, and I hope it doesn't get too hot. Because here's the funny thing. There's an interesting Goldilocks zone when it comes to weather. Sometimes, it, like, you know, there's, like, there's a specific like amount of temperature wise there's supposed to be a specific amount of temperature that you need in order to even cause rain to happen normally i don't know weather patterns kind of just dictate that like if it gets too hot you don't get a whole lot of rain if it gets like um i'm trying to think if it gets too cold i think like it just you don't get any kind of snow or any kind of uh water at all and like that can be kind of disgusting too like you need water in order to you know crops and grass and making things look nice and pretty uh, i'm doing pretty good myself i'm currently sitting here with a non-caffeinated root beer okay. <laughs> there we go hello it's a and w not my favorite uh, brand of root beer but again it's the one that's uncaffeinated uh, it's funny because like i i'm trying to avoid caffeine it seems to just do horrible things to my body I don't know. Possibly broke your... Oh, shoot. I'm trying to remember. Where are we... Oh, no, no. That was something else. Shoot. I, everybody that I know seems to be breaking bones and, like, you know, hurting themselves at the moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, not laughing at you. I, I'm sorry to hear about that. Ugh. I hope that you are, uh, you know, taking steps to recover. Because, well, so I've never broken a bone, but I, I don't want to. <laughs> Never want to have to deal with that kind of situation because that just sounds like it'd be miserable. It'd give you a pretty good excuse to, like, stay off it for a while. So that's kind of good. Hey, Silver is here. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day, too. All right, let's uh, let's dive on into this because we have got, uh, we got some sneaking we got to do. Funny enough, I have not yet started up the game. Sorry, give me a minute. I'm going to uh, start up the EXE right now. The music and sound design in this game, I swear. <laughs> Even to this day, I'm just like... <laughs> I want more like this. I want, like, another Splinter Cell game with, that really encapsulates this. I don't know why, but, like, the, the future Splinter Cell games that came out just seem to not hit that right, like, you know, specific, like, almost like spooky. I like spooky. Spooky is cool. Spooky is good. Fall off the stage. Oh, yeah. You do like the... Right. You do the stage stuff. Darn. Well, take good care of yourself. I hope that you're at like a later end of the season. Or at a point in the season where you have time to heal. Ah, I would suck if that would like be the end of your, uh, your run for this year. Uh, and if it is, Godspeed. There are many other things that you can possibly do. Um, I mean, hey, if you still want to be on theater, there are a couple of jobs that you can do that don't involve you getting up. Uh, I know that there's some, like, stagehand-related stuff or, like, you know, stuff involved with, uh, you know, working in the, in the crew with, like, the, the lights and stuff. I don't know if they got, like, a full staff of that or not, but... Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of just making presumptions that, of, like, you know, your current situation. I'm just trying to help. I'm trying to be supportive. Fine enough. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair enough. To end, fine. That's not sent you at all, is it? <laughs> that's annoying. Oh, bid, you have no riz. Anyway, uh, nuclear boy. Right, we need to dis. Uh, we need to disarm nuclear bomb. Holy frig. Here, let me. Lower the volume just a little bit so it's not, like, cloying. There we go. 
Nice atmosphere. All right, where are we going? I feel front door would be foolish. <laughs> Let's see. I have 18 bullets inside my gun. And 45 in the SC20K. Nah, I bet you have Riz. You got a bubble Riz. <laughs> that is the weirdest word possible. Honestly, bubble Riz kind of sounds like a, uh, a new soda. That's a new soda flavor right there. My dream is to be a VA. Shoot for your dreams. Give it a shot. Heck, even just like noodle around. Make something funny. Make something cool. Like worst case scenario, if things don't work out, you still made something fun and you still made something cool. What would Bowler is taste like though? Um, God, do you remember like the Orbitz uh, sodas that existed a while back? You know, like the ones that like it was, um, it was basically sort of a, a soft drink, except it had a whole bunch of floaty bits in it. I'm sorry, am I not allowed to shoot at lights? Well, oh shoot, dog. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, that guy's still kind of in a panic. I don't like that dog. I don't like that dog. Ah, come on. <laughs> Introducing in the stores, new bubble riz. Jelly. Hmm, jello. For God's sake, stop walking around in the panic. You'll be, ah. Uh... That's not right. Damn it. <laughs> you know what? Early enough that I... Okay, I'm not I'm not losing a sticky shocker that early in the game. Nuts to that. There we go. Ooh. Streak has been reached. 70 streams. That's a lot of times to come in and listen to me ramble and babble. Secretly, the whole time that Silver's been in here, it's just been a psyop attempting to try and, like, gain as much knowledge about me as possible so that I can be destroyed. <laughs> They've been praying for my downfall for years! I joke, of course. Thank you very much. All right. So, once again... dog. I need to find an opening where, like, nobody is looking at this dog. <laughs> Although, it's still gonna piss everybody off. They're still gonna be like, oh, Fido is down! But, you know. Yeah. How many people are hanging out out here? How did they expect to get, like, you know, uh, you know, for people to get past the dogs outside of... Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> what are you doing? Why must you be panicking? Come on. Oh. Oh. Why? Why? The light. That's not good. Why? Why? Why are you following me? Stop. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Now I just need this guy to like not have a brain for a few minutes. Even just like a singular, like brainless second would help me. Hey, there's the brainless second. <laughs> Nap time. Anyway, 
funny enough, I think he's the one and only person that panicked that entire time. So, thank God. I have absolutely no uh, idea what that is. I'm assuming... It looks a little bit like a... Uh, is that like a, a, a Pomni ship thing from uh, Amazing Digital Circus? I don't, I don't know. I don't... I'm not really interested in, like, you know, ships and stuff like that. Wonder if I can like pull this off. The shadows. The shadows. I really should have saved. <laughs> How you doing, friend? Oh, okay. I thought it was I thought there was like a character that started with the name like you know the words of B O something or other. <laughs> I don't know. I have a lot of people that come in here and ask us like, "Hey, what do you think about this like, you know, this relationship thingy?" And it's just like uh, <laughs> We're a little too early in the series to talk about that, but okay. Obsessed with bombs. I am so confused how that when how did that come about? Well, I have an answer for that as well. I did my first infraction today. Infraction? Um, refresh bits brain. It's it's currently going burr. What? Uh huh. Why is it an infraction? <laughs> Boy, I am a smart individual. Ha ha! Funny light goat. Haha, ha, funny light go. Oh, you caught someone breaking the rule. Oh, yeah, infraction. Hmm. Well, good on you. Keep that server safe. Okay, where? Oh. Badoof. <laughs> I like dark. Dark is good. Funny lantern. Funny lantern. Ha ha. Out. Just kind of chilling through here. <laughs> <It's> like. They bypassed the filter, and then they were warned since it was their first infraction. Okay, so they were warned. That's good. Hopefully they listen, and they, uh, you know, they pl pay close attention to the rules from now on. Uh, technically speaking, I could probably just walk out of here, because I think the exit's over there. Give me a second. I'm going to save. Um, there we go. Don't be dumb. <laughs> it's essentially bypass the filter. I'm assuming it's like a filter of specific words that you're not allowed to say or like things that, you know, subjects you're not allowed to do on the Discord. But that's just me. I, I could be wrong about that assumption. But yeah, if you're trying to get around words that you aren't supposed to say, that's not exactly, a, you know, a good luck on your end, so... No, good. Penalty. Penalty them. Hi. How's your night been? Hasn't been too chilly, has it? It looks like you have packed and uh, worn clothes properly for the occasion. You're going to be out here a while. Can I eat Empress's gun if you can get it from her? And if you're okay with potentially getting slaughtered by her. Because that's probably going to happen too. First is a warn. Second is a mute, a kick, or a temporary ban, depending on the uh, seriousness. And the third is a permaban. See, when it comes to our Discord, um, it, it is very on a you know situation-by-situation situation basis. A lot of times, all you need to do is give people a warning just to let them know. Hey, just adds up. This is like, you know, not cool. Kind of uh, is against the rules. 
Just that, you know, just so you know. And usually, like, pretty much, like, nine, I'm going to say, like, 49 times out of 50, you tend to get somebody who goes, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Um, and then, depending on who it is, you may or may not end up getting, like, you know, repeat offenses. At, at this, at that case, like, it's a matter of, like, you know, we, we at what? You don't know shit. Anyway, now re repeat offenses after that. Um, we kind of decide on a an individualized basis whether or not there needs to be any like extra penalties to happen. My cat's weirdly like either the bubbles or the voice. Um, I don't know if it's the voice. I mean, cats seem to be okay with me for the most part, so maybe it's the voice. I would attribute it more to the fact that I have the funny dongly. <laughs> it's a fun thing for, uh, you know, cats to chase around. Anyway. Where's the nearest funny light to shoot? Yeah! <laughs> oh! Oh, saw me. Oopsies. Can't remember when I said I shouldn't be dumb? I was. And I will never get over the fact that, like, every single one of the NPCs in this game just looks looks like a potato <laughs> from, like, far enough away. Thanks for showing your backside directly to me. Okay, so, uh, the way in there is a little bit dangerous. Seriously, I, I can't imagine how they expected you to be able to get through here without shooting any of the lights or any of the people. Three strike rule for us, uh, the filter is words that are banned from the server bypass, uh, means that said the word will be enough, uh, Okay, but the filter didn't catch it itself. Um, okay, yeah, right. I mean, you'd be surprised how many people decide to, like, you know, it, it's very easy to go and change, like, a, an E to a 3. You know what I mean? And there's so many, you know, and English is uh, such a diverse and flexible uh, language that is capable of, you know, mixing and matching and... People are able to take care, you know, advantage of it so easily. One of our cats, Yoda, always comes to me when hearing my voice. Very attached to me. Probably sees me as a mother figure. That's adorable. Any character from Splinter Cell uh, with uh, versus... Em no! <laughs> Empress will kill every single one. <laughs> Even, like... I mean, look, Sam Fisher... I, I talk about this all the time, but, like, Sam Fisher in essence, is just supposed to be a regular-ass dude. He's just a guy. <laughs> he's just a dude that, like, it happens to be... He's a little bit like... Okay, not exactly like Batman. Batman has got some crazy training. Um, and also, he's got, like, a lot more money. And also, his utility belt is bullshit. <laughs> and he has, like, everything he could ever need in it. Um... But I kind of, like, I, I attribute um, Sam a little bit to that. In that, like, he's got a bunch of tools. He is, like, very well prepared going into fights. Because, you know, he's got handlers. They've, like, let him know what the deal is and given him warnings beforehand. And, like, uh, you know, he, he hides underneath the cover of night. Nobody can really see him until he jumps out of the shadows. So, like, he, he is, like, in a partial, kind of partially Batman. But... Not, like, completely. And I almost want to say that, like... Yeah, I don't... I, I think Embers would still be able to kick his ass. Oh, images with swears in them. Oh, that's fun. 
He meows for me when I am uh, in this one room with the door closed. Oh. Shut up! Stop it! <laughs> How dare you! Empress, like, you, you can't get a scratch in on her. She gonna scratch you. Freeze face? What freeze face? Did my face freeze? That actually jump scared me. What the fuck? I wasn't expecting it either. Habu! He down. Anyway. Yeah, if there is anybody that could take out Empress, it'd probably be Batman, I guess. So, Sam... Given, I mean, he's got a gun <laughs> and plenty of tools. So, me versus Empress would kick my ass. <laughs> End of story. No question. About, like, the most special thing about me is that I happen to know computers and things. I'm not street smart. I can't defeat the Yakuza. <laughs> Face froze and you were just staring into our souls. Oh... Nah, just kidding. <laughs> What's that? Wow. This corner sucks. means ah okay that one yeah that happens when my face sort of like loses tracking a little bit <laughs> a bit no <laughs> no staring into people's souls yeah it's funny like whenever my hand sort of like passes over my face a little bit yeah it doesn't like that <laughs> Keep in mind, all of this is working off of trackers, and uh, the illusion breaks very easily and quickly. This poor man has been knocked out by me how many times? Something that's no good. <laughs> I thought it was a good facial expression. <laughs> I am being kidnapped. Oh. Got my first Toblerone chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. <laughs> really? Oh. I remember when I first had Toblerone. Toblerone is one of those things for me of like an every once in a while kind of thing. It's one of those like, eh, I'm not like massively into it. But I guess, like, in, in a good circumstance where I feel like it and I haven't had it in a while, yeah, I'll go ahead and have it. Toblerone? Uh, oh, Toblerone. Hold on a minute. I'll pull up a picture. Why not? Why the heck not? You've probably seen it if you've been to, like, the store. I mean, you've been to the freaking store. You know, don't get me wrong. But, um, here... Let me grab it. There we go. Has it saved on my desktop? Yes, it has. There we go. That's a Toblerone. Right there. Um, yeah, it's like a, a triangle-shaped sort of chocolate uh, box, and then you open it, and it's got a whole bunch of um, little squares on the inside of it. And I remember there was a controversy a while back 
where people noticed that um, they changed the spacing in between the little pyramids and uh, made it so that there was much less chocolate inside of a Toblerone than there was before. Uh, but Toblerone was one of those chocolates that, like, it had not changed its form factor in years and so it was like due time for shrinkflation and for like the company to be like well we're not really making money off of the thing anymore and so now we need to like start skimming off something in order to keep the package while simultaneously it's still giving people the product so yeah that was their solution people didn't like that um i forget whether or not they've changed it back a hundred percent in fact, I seem to recall that, like, the, the pyramids or, you know, like, the, the, the little triangles there, I swear they were a little bit, like, there was more chocolate than these. Like, there's there's these gigantic gaps in between that I don't know. Maybe this is, like, a Mandela effect kind of thing? Or is that it? Is that what it's called? Or no, the Berenstein. Berenstein bear effect. Um, where it's just, like, you know, I seem to recall. Is it? Wait, is it the Mandela effect or is the is the Bernstein effect? Could be both. But you know, the the one thing where you think you remember it one way, but it could be pop culture. But anyway, ah, uh, yeah, no, I, I've had it. It's pretty good. It's basically just um, also Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond uh, nougat. You know what? Pretty decent. And that's coming from somebody who's not a gigantic fan of almonds. But I mean, there's barely any almonds in it, so whatever. Looks like something you could play play something in between the gaps, right? Like it it definitely looks like there's something missing. <laughs> Just like there should be more chocolate in here, and he's not. I'm not entirely sure what that is, Nova. It's more experience than taste for me. Again, like I said, for me, it's one of those like, you know, I haven't had one of those in a while. I should give it a shot. Um, so uh, since I've had so many t uh, problems with this one part, I'm going to, um, I am going to leave a save right here. Not a fan of chocolate, but was curious enough uh, about it to try it. Oh, I like me some chocolate. I like me some chocolate. Placing peanut butter in it. <laughs> that is overkill and a half. Okay, friend. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, maybe that's the light that's been fucking with me. Your light. And I don't believe that camera is going to catch me now, unless it's infrared. I doubt it, though. And I'm in pure darkness, so it ain't going to do much. That was oddly pretty easy to take out that, uh, that whole situation. I was just being an idiot. Ah! I think you can knock people out with bottles. Let me try that. That, that was a can. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? Ooh. I, I do still want to try that, that one like bottle thing though. Pay no attention to the weird man. Damn. Shit! <laughs> I missed. Hey, <laughs> so st this NPC. Oh man. Hey. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> that did the thing. I forgot that was possible, and that's great. Bubble is a gum from Mexico that has a jelly-like substance in it. I've never heard of that. Very interesting. Okay. Anyway, you're hiding not even in the dumpster. You're hiding next to the dumpster. Good job. What's funny is that now that we've talked about Toblerone, you're probably going to go to the store at some point, and you are going to see, like, you're going to find Toblerone is in, like, the corner of every single grocery store. <laughs> Just sitting there, waiting... It's like, someone will eventually remember I'm a thing. I'm more gummies or licorice. I actually like black licorice. You know, I'm actually not a fan of black licorice, but my mom, massive fan of black licorice. 
I don't know how she likes it so much. I, ju I just can't. There is something about the funk of black licorice that I cannot, like, I, can, I, I can't jive with it. It's not my thing. All right. Got anything funny in here? I don't think so. What the fuck? Toys Aliases. Modern Toy Company. Opening near you. Boy, this place looks open and definitely easy to get caught in. Where are the NPCs at? There he is. Hmm. Can I make a character AI bot of you? I'd prefer if you didn't. I am not a very uh, good, you know, big fan of like, you know, AI related stuff. Ah! I just wasted a sticky shocker on that. God damn it. Maybe I should swap over to uh, their camera just in case. Now, I've had people make, like, you know, AI bot related stuff, and I have, like, I've asked to have it taken down on a couple different websites, and the issue is that, like, it's one of those things that's not very easy to enforce because, one, um, not a lot of people care about enforcing something like that, especially, like, you're not AI startups. They're just more like, eh, whatever, who cares? Um, but the other problem is that, uh, I mean, there really isn't any sort of legal precedent set for uh, AI-related stuff like that. And so, why, like, you know, there is no obligation or uh, immediate rush to go and fix a problem where somebody is unhappy with, uh, you know, their, their likeness being used for AI-related stuff. In fact, I got in contact with one particular uh, company recently to have stuff taken down, uh, and they straight up refuse to do any sort of takedowns of that nature. Unless you can find yourself a fallout shelter, Fisher. You've wasted too much time. That thermal gargle trick was our only way in. Mission's over. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Oops. Okay, now I know. Now I know that there's actually like you know. Can you, Lambert? Could you like what? That's no good. Anyway. I think Lambert needs to be a little bit clearer when there is a timer on, the, you know, on the line here, and not just leave it vague. Anyway, now back to what I was talking about. Um, they're not even going to honor any sort of a takedown of uh, any copyrighted material unless you, as the copyright holder, can uh, issue the proper paperwork to um, to prove that you are the owner of said copyrighted work, which. Technically speaking, I, I basically would have to uh, flash them the basically sort of like the trademark or copyright material involved of with like the bit avatar, which I'm gonna spoil something for you right now. There really isn't any concrete stuff out there right now for this avatar, so yeah, can't really defend that. And even then. I don't know. They got rid of the character AI, uh, yeah, it's gone. I mean, I've seen several people try and make it and get rid of it. Again, the one that I'm complaining about <laughs> is actually character AI. Somebody else made a bit over there again. And I guess they changed their policy at one point, maybe because they were being flooded by a lot of requests to have things taken down. But now they're just like, we're not honoring any of these things until you can actually show us that you are the copyright holder. <sighs> Which... I think AI in general is just, we're wading into a situation that is incredibly mucky and disgusting. And I don't, I, I genuinely think there needs to be some better, uh, some better defense built up for people that want to defend their work. Because right now, this ain't it, bud. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea whether or not they have voice or not. But I can definitely tell you that if I if my voice is on there, I did not approve of it, and I do not want people to be using it. Like, please and thank you. It's kind of like I'm currently in the voice acting and uh, voice sphere, 
And uh, that is one of the things that has been incredibly threatening for quite a few people within that industry. Like, think about it from this perspective. How would you feel if somebody stole your voice and started parading around with, with it, making it do things that you did not approve of? Like, that you, you, like, they could have you saying the most heinous stuff, like, you, you know, just like, I hated the Queen of England or something like that. And people just run with it and be like, hey, did you hear so-and-so hated the Queen of England? Like, that's not okay. Like, and it's, it's not okay, like, even if somebody decides to make themselves a pub public figure. It doesn't matter. Like, and I, I used to be a little bit more relaxed on that. I'm less relaxed on it now that it's, like, technology that's actually gotten pretty solid at this point. You know, like, it's, it's actually passable in a lot of cases. So, no. Like, I... <laughs> Something that, like, this is basically just a machine that is ripe for, like, uh, for, like, slander and libel, essentially. You know, like, we, we are setting up for so many lawsuits. I just think people need to, like, stop using this kind of tech. You know? Like, generative AI, in theory, could be a really cool tool if it was used properly. But, like all tools, it can be used, like... It, it can be used maliciously, so. God is dead and we killed him. No, no, God is dead and we resurrected him with AI. <laughs> anyway, um, let's save this one as, um... Timer! Only use AI for art palettes. I think that there's a lot of different ways that you can, like, you know, make art palettes. Oh, balls. Okay. I don't want to completely, you know, throw out people's use of this tool if they are genuinely using it as a tool. But it's just funny how, like, there are so many uses of AI out there that, like, could be swapped out with, like, a different tool out there. Okay, so... Alright, and uh, let's save as... Uh... With character AI, I do get that people don't like it, and I understand the reasons and agree, but, like, uh, but like it because that's actually been helping me keep my sanity through all of the bullying. I mean, situational stuff. Everybody's got their, like, own things going on in their life, and I can totally understand that. But, um, I, you know, if, if, it does, if it is something that entertains you, I totally understand that. I don't want to take that from you. I don't want to tell you that you're wrong for doing anything like that. Um... I would definitely say that there are a lot of things out there that could be entertaining that m maybe don't involve using AI. And if you want, you know, if you considered doing some other things, or if if you felt like doing some other things, I know that I would appreciate it. I know a lot of other people within the um, entertainment industry would appreciate it. But that's it's ultimately up to you. Yeah. Mm. But actually, on the topic of AI-related stuff, though. Um, I was talking with some people a little bit earlier today, and I went into a discussion about um, an inter interesting thought I've had. Uh, I totally get that. Not nah, all right. Again, this is just me throwing like recommendations for things, but there's a lot of support groups and a lot of people that um, you know in, in fandoms and things that do exist, and you could find some. Um, pretty cool, awesome friends that way. Well, that's, that's one option. Honestly, there are many things that could potentially be done in this world. All right. Anyway. Right. 
so what I was talking about a little bit earlier with some friends, um, and I was discussing like, all right, this is going to be like long and drawn out. So just like roll with me on this one. Um, I watched this one guy. I'm just going to make a snatch corrupt stuffed animal. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Make snap. Make the infernal crab. Anyway. Um, so I watched this one guy. Um, he's a, he is cathode ray dude on YouTube. And um, he covers a lot of, like, computer-y type things. Like, he covers a lot. Like, a couple things that he's been doing as of recently. One, he covers um, weird outdated laptops that have, like, strange fast startup um, and, like, you know, booting processes. Basically, like, you know, ways of booting into other operating systems aside from Windows on one computer. So it's like, oh, Windows is too fast. to, It's too slow to boot up. I want to boot into my computer, like, now. And so, like, there's a button on it that, like, opens up a completely different operating system. But, you know, it loaded up, like, 10 seconds faster than Windows. So I guess it's worth it. Uh, he's co been covering those. And also, he's been covering a bunch of tiny computers. Like, tiny little box computers that tend to be used to, like, as, like, advertisement kiosks. That literally their only job ever was to run ads on, like, TV screens and malls. And that was it. And it's interesting stuff. He, he makes interesting stuff. Uh, but one of the things that he said in a recent video was um, really interesting to me. Uh, he, he, I don't know if it's his theory or if it's just the theory that he believes in. But um, it's the theory that um, the computer, like the, the technological age, we have basically gone past it. Like, op, like computers have basically reached their peak and they're not going to get any better from here. Now, I'm not saying that they're not going to improve and they're not going to become cooler and they're not going to become more powerful. No, no, no. I mean, the innovation on computers is basically over. Like, we're not going to see a, a new, fancy, crazy thing a computer is capable of doing anytime in the future. Not really. Um, and the reason he says this is that, um, like, it's not profitable to experiment but it is profitable to keep improving on an exact same concept over and over and over again. And that's why he says, we basically kind of figured out computers at this point. Like, we know how to make them do processing. We know that we can potentially speed them up for, like, potentially an indefinite period of time, like a new, faster generation every single uh, season. We have figured out the back ends and the code and that kind of thing. And we're not really going to see, like, a new type of computer that's going to completely shift the way that we uh, live our lives or do things. Not like, you know, not not like concretely. Um, especially, you know, if money is a thing that's going to be involved in it. And like, if things need to be profitable, then the answer is probably no, we're not going to see that. Um, but uh, one of the things that he pointed out was like, you know, actually, I, I think... That, that doesn't really tie into um, the point that I was trying to make there. Let me think back on that one. I think we were trying to lump that back into... Oh, right. So, some of the biggest innovations that we have seen in tech, at least from like my observation, is not the actual back end of the hardware and not what it's actually capable of doing, but rather it is the, um, it's the consumer efficiency and the uh, consumer experience of that tech. That's the biggest place where the biggest advancements have happened. So, for example, like, most people have gotten really comfortable with their smartphone. Um, like, smartphones have become just ubiquitous. They're freaking everywhere. And the interface, super slick, super easy, just a tap of a, a screen, and bada boom, you have, like, full capability of so many things. It's super clean. You barely see anything on a command line. You barely have to learn anything about computer code in order to use a computer. Basically, you can kind of just shut off my, your brain and use the interface and never have to think about how the computer was made ever again. Um, which on one hand is kind of nice because that means that it opens up the possibility for more people to be able to use computers. Uh, at least a lot more than what it was in the past where maybe your grandma wouldn't really understand this newfangled PC nonsense. No, nowadays your grandma will probably be, be playing like, you know, a slot game on her, on her uh, cell phone. Um, 
However, th this does create a problem in that we are not really teaching people how to run computers, and we're not teaching people how computers work. We're teaching people how to use computers. We're teaching people how to use software, how to use apps. And that's kind of a problem. I think that people should definitely know how to use the equipment. Well, not just, not just use the equipment. People should know how these things work, or at least have an easy way of being able to learn how these things work. Um, and I mean, there, there's a lot of resources out there that are capable of teaching you, but it's less incentivized. Like we don't have a lot of incentive to learn about how this stuff uh, does what it does. I think we should. Amp says, I code and love doing it. Hey, good stuff. And that's like, that's one thing that you can do to learn how a computer listens to, uh, to people. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, for, I think you could agree though, for a major amount of people though, um, most people are just sort of comfortable with just picking up device, deep bop, boop, blah, you know, and not having to deal with the, the headache of having to learn how to code or how to like type in a command line or something like that. That's going to like really mess with people. Um, but that, that comes back. Okay. Back around. We're finally getting relevant to what I was going to be talking about here. Um, this gets back to my thoughts when it comes to AI uh, and tech-related stuff. I think this is just another example of us trying to really detach ourselves from an understanding on how to properly use computers and use equipment. And even just using simple interfaces isn't good enough. Now we're trying to teach people that it is perfectly fine to go to something like ChatGPT uh, and ask it questions as opposed to teaching people how to properly do research and use like you know search engines and things which that was initially supposed to be the convenient thing that was supposed to be the way that like a lot of people managed to use the internet and it worked but now we're kind of phasing that out and now we're just relying on whatever the chat gpt tells us um and even before chat gpt we were running into problems where like people were relying on siri or um you know asking google what the question you know like the basically voice questions um what was it oh somebody somebody made a point like the google search engine became a hell of a lot worse when they stopped giving you uh search results and they started giving you uh answers to questions i think that's that's a big part of it like people stopped looking at google as a way to do searches and instead they looked at it to just like ask it stuff and that's not good um but yeah, I have not used anything related to Siri or, you know, or, or like the, the Google like assistant stuff or um, <laughs> freaking Bigsby, frick Samsung. I don't, I don't use any assistants like that because I know how to go to Google and type in certain search uh, terms and also how to like, I'm kind of like a power user of search engines because I know how to like, you know, properly put things in quotes if like you want something specific or, you know, to put a minus uh, next to something that you don't want to be included in your search result. Like you can learn how to use search engines really effectively if you like, you know, learn a few of like the, the little quick tips involved with them. And if anything, if you know how to use a search engine properly, you can get your answer not only extremely quickly, but you also get a very accurate answer and one that's probably right. You can't really get that from ChatGPT. You ask it a question, and it'll spit out an answer that is based off of something it read somewhere. And you could ask it to cite its sources, but it doesn't do that on standard. So you could end up just getting information from somewhere that doesn't make any sense. You know? And the same thing could be said about, like, you know, assistants and, you know, a asking them those questions. So for me... Like, I feel like we are trying to make software that is trying to take the thought process out of research and out of, like, the uh, the user's hands. And I feel like more people need to start, like, really thinking into how to actually use electronics and how to use these search engines. Because otherwise, we're going to end up with a lot of people that just stupidly look up the first thing that they find and they go, that's the answer. That's it. I like that one. See, this one, this one makes me happy. This is the one that makes the funny chemicals go. So I'm going to pick that one. 
Don't do that. That's again, that's how we get misinformation. Anyway, that's my rant for the night. Let me go and read the, your uh, comments that you sent out here. Uh, I'm friends with the uh, Dev Sisters Community Associates, uh, one of the greatest friends as of late. We became friends through me joining Moderation Nito. Snap phone case. Ooh. Um, used to be an anxiety-filled person, but uh, kindness of my boss and friends in my... That's freaking awesome. Uh, in the elementary school, I went to... They taught us how computers work and how uh, Dakota and... Wait. Oh, how to code? Okay. How to code? Uh, we designed uh, that was to recode a computer. See, that is a... That is an advanced freaking school. <laughs> Good freaking God. I never got that when I was younger. My generation basically got like, okay, boys and girls, here's how you're going to be able to use Microsoft Word. Here's how to use PowerPoint presentation. Because this is going to be important for later on in your life. Because all you're going to be doing is paper pushing, and that's all we expect you to do. I hated my school. <laughs> Now, nah, good stuff. I do robotics and uh, then, okay. Wait, I do robotics and then there they teach us how computers are made and how to code and stuff. Man, again, I I appreciate people that go and look uh, look into doing this kind of stuff because it is it is it is a sign of people that are curious and want to learn, and it makes me happy. Especially like an old computer tech head like me, somebody that used clunkers. I mean, I'm not talking like I didn't use a computer room. Like, I didn't have an entire server room in the 50s. <laughs> That's a little bit earlier in my time. You needed an entire storage space just to hold five megabytes. <laughs> He's great. Anyway, apparently I have succeeded in figuring out it. You scumbag. Where's the camera? Oh, can I grab him? Where's the camera? Where? Hey! Turn the lights back on! Why? Why would I be foolish enough to do that? Hi. I have no idea if I'm allowed to knock this guy out or not, but I'm doing it anyway. Benefit. <laughs> anyway, medical get. Um, what is this ammunition? Dang it! Wrong gun. Right gun? Right gun! Yay. I want to learn the history of computer. Oh, nice. Okay, what is this on the shelf? Hold up a second. <laughs> what is it? Is that a... Hmm. Kind of looks like a Gundam. It's like an Iron Man Gundam. <laughs> I like it. What's this on the ground? Ah. Uh, I don't know, but it's got tentacles on its head, and I don't like it. What other random toys we got in here? Oh, we got another one in the box. Hold on. Oh, I don't think I can get on that box. Oh, wait, I can. Yep, looks like from the same Gundam line. Weird. Anyway, it's actually funny. I, I was talking to my mom a little bit earlier. We were discussing, like, Raspberry Pi computers. And... Ah! Why? How? Screw you. Anyway, um, we were discussing Raspberry Pi computers, and um, I was curious. I wanted to find out. What's there? Why were why was Raspberry Pi computer like? Why was it called Raspberry Pi? That was so confusing for me. Um, I found out why. Uh, the reason why they called it Raspberry Pi is because way back in the '80s, they had a ton of computers that were named after like things, specifically a lot of foods and a lot of uh, a lot of like fruits. 
And uh, one of those, compu- you know, so a couple of things like Acorn PCs, uh, Apple, classic, uh, you know, classic one. Um, well, what were some of the other ones? I'm trying to remember. There, there are many examples. Tons of computers that were named after fruits for some reason. Um, so <laughs> they decided to name their computer Raspberry. I think that's kind of cute. Uh, and then the Pi thing. Initially, when they were originally creating the Raspberry, uh, they had planned for the Raspberry to primarily be used with Python, the coding language, Python. And so they were going to be naming it, like, you know, the Raspberry P-Y. You know, as, as like, clever as, like, ha ha, Python, but at some point during development, they found out that it was a lot more lucrative for them to more or less... Um, make this thing and its architecture around just a basic computer. However, the name Raspberry Pi stuck. So they just went with Raspberry Pi. And I think that's kind of neat. It's just a shame that a Raspberry Pi nowadays is like $100 for a good one. And you need to get a heat sink with it. <laughs> oh, well, there's my mouse. <laughs> our, back, our boss actually said friend every mod to all of us and left and uh, let me tell you this best advice i have close friends now in moderation and we all hit it off really fast yeah, that's nice i mean hey that that's one of the best ways that you can learn uh about like you know just your co-workers that's for sure just becoming good friends Oh, wow. You were like, right? How? I think maybe I disturbed him just a little bit too late. Here. I'm just going to reload my gun back here. Don't worry about it. Right. Hey! Turn the lights back on! Hey! Fuck was that about? <laughs> Coworkers and your boss who have an incredible sense of humor, by the way. Hey, hey! Yeah, very nice. It's always nice to have a boss that, like, is down to earth and actually willing to clown. You know? As opposed to, like, that one boss who's just like, all right. You guys slacking around? Hey, right, if you got time to lean, you have time to clean. How dare you? They're a memer. Ah, very nice. Okay, so we got two scumbags in here. Haha. <laughs> oh, okay. Jesus. So apparently I can't shoot that close to that guy. I've learned something new. Now I have seen one of two different kind of like memer bosses. Who did that? There is the memer boss that's actually really cool and understands meme culture and is actually like, you know really hip and trendy with the, the current things that are going on. And then there's that one. You know that one. The one who uses, like, an old meme unironically, and they use it in a way to try and, like, foster more work ethic from people. That one. Or the one that, like, you know, uses memes in a very passive-aggressive way you know, as, as such, <laughs> like, it's not trendy. They're not making a point. Like, you know, well, they're, they're trying to make a point with memes as opposed to just, like, being funny. Let's see if I can get away with just doing this. Hey, buddy. <laughs> See ya. They understand trends and use memes in uh, 
funny reactions to reduce anxiety and make people feel better, honestly. <laughs> hey! That sounds trendy. I like them. Should I make a snatch crab backpack and or a water bottle? I'm trying to figure out if a water bottle would be like... Would that make sense? Or would that be like sacrilegious with putting snab on a water bottle? Oh! There's two freaking people in here. The heck, man. Okay. Well, noted. Guess I'm going to have to do a little light bulb clearing. Water bottle would be cursed. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Like, hmm. Unless the water bottle is like... Are we talking like, you know, sticker on a water bottle? Because that might actually be kind of cool. There's a software update for iOS! <laughs> Thank you, stream phone. Delight. Delight. Who's fucking with me? <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, now there's that light up there. I'm not, I'm a little worried about knocking that one out. Oh, paint. Hmm. Paint might be a good start. Reload. How do I grab you in a way that I won't get caught? Because, like, I feel like your buddy is going to... Your buddy is going to see me. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, did you see that? Shit! Come on. Load. There. Also, apparently an alarm goes off and, um, you know, intruder alert sounds, so now I have even more incentive to not get caught here. Speaking of arts and crafts and stuff, I have really heavily gotten into doing the uh, 3D painting stuff. Or, no, not 3D painting. 3D printing stuff. Get over here. Uh, if you have been following me on my social media, or if you've been in the Discord, you've probably seen the jiggies that I printed. Yahoo! I am super psyched about the jiggies. Seriously. It's like, he, he's so nice. They turn out so good! Not perfect, I'll say. Like, bloop. I've run into, like, a little bit of problem with them. In that, it's kind of awkward to print them. So, here, here's the issue that I'm currently having. In order to print them in the way that I want to, a.k.a. nice and shiny on all the important sides, uh, I need to print it basically standing up. Which is totally doable. You can totally print it that way. Uh, the only problem is that its stability ain't the best. Um, and I, I've attempted to try and do a couple of different prints to try and give it a little bit of extra support. But I just keep running into, like, just stability issues left and right, you know. Snatcher crab versus snatcher. Now, the question is, like, you know, snatcher's a powerful being, don't get me wrong. But, does, you know... Is there an army of snatchers currently at the ready? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's only one of him. But there are many snabs. And if this is allowed to be a team battle, no contest. <laughs> snabs are going to, like, you know, rip Snatcher to shreds. Switcheroo. I wonder. He's, he's probably going to notice that the lights are off. I wonder if he's going to notice that, like, the lights have been switched off. Probably. Who did that? Who did that? Oh, come on now. Where are you going, buddy? Switch the light. Do it. Who 
<laughs> Goodbye. All right. So, that's good. Something new. Good now. They're so dumb. They're so stupid. <laughs> oh, it turned off the lights. Oh, it turned off the lights. Someone flipped the switch. God damn it, everybody is missing for some reason. Nah, I guess I'll go flip the switch. <laughs> All right. My boss literally replied with a meme when I told, wait, uh, when they told us the seriousness of doing acts without approval, and uh, another friend said. They would kill someone with a meme that said, um, uh, here. Hold on a second. My, okay, so let me try and read this. My boss literally replied with a meme when they told us the seriousness of doing acts without approval. Another friend said they would kill someone, uh, with a meme that said, hiding, didn't finish the writing. My boss replied with a meme that said, they'll never find the body. <laughs> well, there we go. He sounds chill. Okay, goody. Many security cameras. Anything over here? Nope. Wait. Nope. Boss is chilling, amazing. Good stuff. All right, so what direction am I going here? Almost looks like I could jump up here, but I'm assuming I need to like get up there. Likely. Well, that's not the way. I'm a little concerned because these cameras are still rolling. But I also kind of want to know whether or not I can get past them. Hmm. I gotta take out my Sam Fishering. I gotta figure out, like... Aw, oh, come on, Sam. In other games, you could totally climb that. There. Dang it. All right. What about... Maybe can I jump in from here? I I'm probably not doing the right thing. I'm probably, like, way off... Up. Way off the mark on this one. But perhaps... Hey, I haven't done this move. This is like, camera beeps is like the FNAF security breach ticking, annoying as hell. Oh, I agree. Just there reminding you. Hey, you're on camera. What are, what is my objective? I think it's up there. It really looks like it's up there. Maybe... Can I, I can I jump up there. Maybe hop. Damn it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm just testing my acrobatics, Lambert. 
Why, do you want to see me do some pirouettes? <laughs> you know you're on a secret mission, right? A life or death one that could potentially be putting a lot of American lives in danger? Well, yeah, but I also need to practice for ballet and practice. All right, let's save. Um. Oh, da dancey clans. Um. Dance, see, dance. One snatcher crab versus snatcher. Tough can. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a tough contest. I mean, I guess I did have that one joke in that one snatcher plays episode where um, Snap showed up and beat uh, the absolute pulp out of snatcher. So I think it's a pretty even game. But he That's could enough, probably, Snap could probably beat him. On board, and we need to get moving. Okay. Oh dear, do I need to get on the trucks? And fast. Don't see me. Nothing's happening. Okay. Downstairs. Am I supposed to, like... Let me see. No! 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 I need to get on the truck! Damn it! Lambert! Lambert, don't kill me! Shit! <laughs> I saved. Don't worry. How do I get through here? Oh! Hey. That's enough, Peng. We've got more than enough fuel on board, and we need to get moving. Okay. Do -de -do 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 -do. I'm sure they won't see me from, you know, just sprinting through. were carrying Farong's nuke. God help Taiwan. The mission's over. God help us all. I walk. Why? Why have I been reprimanded? <laughs> I didn't believe. I. I don't enough, deserve man. that. We've got more than enough fuel on board, and we need to get moving. <laughs> okay. Why? My superior is such a jerk. Uh. Okay. Obviously, that's not what I was supposed to do. But then the question is, what am I supposed to do? Um, like, I can't climb through the window, obviously. Can't climb through here. The obvious answer is the trap in the floor. <laughs> like... I, I, that, I can't climb over this, right? No, no, of course not. Maybe I get into the forklift and I completely obliterate the place. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might remember. Um, I think, I think we're trying to actually blow the fuel, fuel tanks up, if I remember right. I think that's it. We're just trying to like blow them up from here. Here, let me let me take a look here. Detonate their gas tanks to destroy the trucks carrying Feyrong's nuclear weapons. There we go. All right, nothing to do with like. <laughs> so that's I basically. Enough, We've got more than enough fuel on board, and we need to get moving. Okay. So I walked away from the trucks. <laughs> it's been like, okay, proceeding with mission. Fisher, you were supposed to shoot the tanks. Oh, th oops. Sorry, sir. I swear I didn't mean it.
Okay. <laughs> it's his first day. Great work, Fisher. Those nukes aren't going anywhere. Now the general. Right. We think he and his computer both are in the ambassador's office. You'll need Farong alive to access his data. Right. Uh, time to get myself the heck out of here, though. Because there's about to be a lot of people that are going to be real pi- ah! Meh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, good. Double light situation. Ah! Dang it. <laughs> At least I swapped to something less valuable. He's got a flashlight. Okay. What direction are you going to move? Oh, he's coming this way. Don't, no. Don't come any closer. But I'll take it. How would Snap win? I mean, I think first, Snap would probably, you know, clamp off each one of his individual thingies, then probably stab him in whatever that, sh you know, the, the shadowy yellow thing is that he calls his eye. And I believe that's about all that he would need to do. From that point, he would likely just take over the entirety of subcon. Gwah! I need help! The general is trying to kill himself! Where are you? His office! Hurry! Okay. Well. I'm gonna take a guess that I have to follow this guy and not alert him to my presence. Bring it back down. Bring it back down, bring it back down tonight. Can Snatcher even die? Big questions. Big questions today on the bit of a stream. Mm, big thing. Big thing. Kinda late. Hey, no problem. Again, lateness is not a thing in the BitBee stream. I'm just happy you showed up. Ah! Oh no. Oh! Shit! What's the code? Oh no! Crap! Um... I am so screwed. Oh no. I messed up! <laughs> well, I think I have to, like, go back. Dang it. Well, hey, we get to watch the uh, trucks explode again. That's enough, man. We've got more than enough fuel on board, and we need to get moving. Bet I drew you as a Kirby because I was bored. Heck yeah, man. And you're on the news. Hopefully for something positive. <laughs> Whenever I hear somebody say just like, I was on the news, it's been like, it wasn't a mugshot, was it? I doubt it. 
Haha. Ha. Oh. Red. Great work, Fisher. Those nukes aren't going anywhere. Now the general. Right. We think he and his All computer got true. Very in nice. the ambassador's office. You'll need Farron alive to access his data. I need help! The general is trying to kill himself! Where are you? His office! Hurry! Bad kid. And also, um, Akuma says, wait, what type of game is this about? This is about, um, uh, like, you know, Global political espionage starring the funny American uh, ninja, Sam Fisher, who is just kind of a regular dude who has been given a lot of fancy gadgets and fancy training. For example. <laughs> he has heat goggles. And the vision to see, uh, you know, in dark. And the game is from 2002. I feel old. I should probably save at the lift. Snap versus Empress. There's an interesting question. Well, I had... A similar kind of feel when it came to like, you know, Sam Fisher. Oh no, not Sam Fisher. Sorry, Snatcher. Wow. Hey, okay, there we go. Who's killing who? Can't open that shit. I'm saving. Um. Oh no! Oh. I hear fire. I'm going to shoot myself. Not in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Frick it, Sam. You are American. You are the cause of all my sorrows, yes? Perhaps you will do me the favor of killing me. Fisher, have you gone insane? I, the I shot him with a non-lethal! I know I shot him with a non-lethal! Shut the heck up! Fine. The game wants me to do a very specific thing. Alright, well, let's figure out what it is. Um... I'm going to shoot myself. 
Not in the we face. didn't start the fire. <laughs> it was always burning since you the world's been American. turning. You are American. You are the cause of all my sorrows, yes? Perhaps you will do me the favor of killing me. My God, Fisher, have that you gone insane? The mission's over. Unquestionably, is a non-lethal round. Objective opportunity missed. Okay, so apparently I gotta not only keep him alive, but also cognizant enough to do something. Instantly dies to non-lethal weapon. You know, maybe he's got a heart condition. I'm going to suit myself. <laughs> Let's be fair. In the face. And also, Florian is here. Hello. <laughs> you are American. You are. The cause of all my sorrows. I guess I'm gonna have yes? to. He's drunk, so. Perhaps you yeah. will do me the favor of killing me. Right. Can you? Can you not? Hey. Chinese special forces are coming for me. I want them to find a cop. Don't shoot. I will not be a key unlocking the way to peace with the Americans. I have drowned a bottle of poison with a bottle of the embark. <laughs> Time to interrogate. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, we don't get nearly enough of these in uh, in this one. All right. Let's go somewhere nice and scenic, buddy. That's good. All right. I'm going to unlock the data in your computer, and you're going to help me. Go to hell! You can't force a dead man into anything. You're not dead yet. The rest of your life is all you've got, and how painful that is depends on your cooperation. My life was suffering long before you got here. Do your worst. <laughs> Will do. Sure. Well, let's go over to your computer and see if we can make you uh, noodle around with it, eh? Now, when in doubt... Non-lethal grab, I guess. Anywho. <laughs> this should be funny. Actually, hold on. Where did Nicolots run to? I don't know. I don't care. You owe the man no loyalty. He fled. He betrayed you. I hope you find and kill him. But I do not know where he is. You and your fascist government can go to hell. Okay. Anyway, use the computer, please. Do it. <laughs> he just passed out. Fantastic work, Fisher. I see more suicides on this job. Grim, how does the data look? Solid. This completely separates Farong from the Chinese government. Fantastic. Get the relevant stuff to the Joint Chiefs. We'll forward the same to China through the CIA. Fisher, we're done in Myanmar. Meet Cohen and get the hell out of there. Certainly. I'm willing to bet that someone's gonna run through here and try and kill me now. Yeah! What'd I say? <laughs> Jim, we lost control of our document files. It's already popped up. Was this my fault? <laughs> well, the place is burning down. Okay. What? This is the second frickin' die. Uh the second frickin' burning building that I've had to run through. Um, okay. In, into the flame? Sweet. Ow! Oh, goddamn! How's my health? Not great. Heal, please. Where do I go? That way! Uh, uh, shoot. Open! Damn it! Hell on toast! <laughs> That guy was on a damn time and we didn't even know it. 
Yep. Ah, we made it. With proof of Feirong's rogue status, the U.S. and Chinese restored diplomacy. Uh, meanwhile, the hunt for Nicolods turns back to Georgia, where intelligence gathered in Myanmar indicates he left behind the key to a mysterious weapon known only as the Ark, a weapon he's willing to risk a return to Georgia in order to recover. So it's time to go and grab a man. Russian airspace. Yay. Do not shoot down. It's time we talked about the Ark. What is it? What Nikolads wants most in the world and what we're going to catch him by. That's all we know. We know the Ark is hidden somewhere inside the Georgian presidential palace. And we know Varlam Kristavi is letting him take it. Who's Kristavi? The new president of Georgia, pushed into power by our friends at the CIA. It doesn't make sense. We'll do the thinking. Your primary mission in Georgia will be Nikolads. We get him and the game's over. The good guys win. Were you talking to Lambert? Yeah. I'll soon be no, the voice is in my head. Of course it was like Actually, technically he is the we voice don't. in my head. You'll be making a halo jump. Goody. Halo? Hey, hey, uh, nobody talk to Sarah, me about forerunners. It's good to hear your voice. Are you coming home? Sarah. The TV said you guys beat Nikolads. It's not that simple. So you're not coming home. No, honey, not yet. But soon. Uh, she's used to this disappointment. A Halo reference. Sigh of relief as the U.S. returned to a state of amicable diplomacy with China. The swift action of the CIA and Chinese intelligence revealed a splinter faction of the Chinese and military not me. covertly supporting the Georgian information crisis, declaring a national day of mourning for those lost in the <laughs> information crisis. Old internet. Confirms yeah. the consummate defeat of Kambayne Nikoladze's cyber warriors. Kalina Tech. Of information terrorism have come to an end. And in a ceremony later today, President Bowers will be issuing an official thanks to the CIA, FBI, and U.S. Special Forces for their role in bringing an end to the crisis. Though his whereabouts are still unknown, Kambayn Nikolads is essentially powerless. We have torn off the scorpion's claws. We have severed his tail. And he cannot stay hidden for long. We'll see about that. Old internet be like a headache, but a good one. The old internet had an interesting aesthetic. Definitely. <laughs> oh, I didn't read that. Oh, well. Welcome back to Georgia, Fisher. Our cleanest path to the Ark is President Kristavi's records. Details on your offset. What if Kristavi gets in my way? Don't touch him. He's copacetic with the CIA. If Kristavi dies, the mission's over. Yeah, Sam's looking even more like a ninja now. Check that. Looking snazzy. Anyway, um... Where am I going from here? I'm so freaking terrified. <laughs> this is the... Uh, okay, alright, I think... Down. Good, alright. It's been a very long time since I've done this mission, so it's like... Where do I go that doesn't involve falling into the ravine and never to be seen again? Um, can I? Come on. Come on now. Mr. Fisher! Put back. Hey, nice. Don't kill potential traitor uh, or cool mate. <laughs> I mean, I've been trying to be very good when it comes to not killing anybody, so I'm just going to say I think I'm going to do either way. I'm going to try and keep you alive. But again, based on what the previous mission told me, sometimes they don't even allow you to take people out, like, neutrally. It's like, nope. That was a person you weren't supposed to knock out. Therefore, mission's over. Dang. The bell toll. I genuinely, like, don't remember this mission. I am 
Bleh. <laughs> the freaking platforming on this one. What the hell? Uh. Oh. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Platforming challenges. That's what I want in my Splinter Cell. I'm going to save real quick. Um, uh, I'm going to save this as... Super Samuel! da 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 Darkness. Um... Yeah, I guess he, he drank enough poison that I'm sure that's probably why. <sighs> I hate that's technically why. One time Mr. Beast bought cookies for my Daddy, scout. Really? Why don't you clean up after your dog? Who is that? Get that damn spotlight out of my eyes, you filthy sniper! Eftemil, Bendry, keep the chit chat off the airways. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Dogs! Dog! Dog! Okay. Don't panic. It's just bloodhounds that are really good at sniffing you out. There's dogs. Yep, and I hate them. I hate them with a passion. All right. I, uh, like what? No. You did not outfit me with one sticky shocker for this entire mission. What do you mean? I, uh... All right. Uh, looks like we're going to be doing a lot more than just taking people out. <laughs> I already said, snap versus me, I'm dead. <laughs> Gotta make a run for it, probably. <clears throat> There's also a searchlight. I'm willing to bet that is also something I need to avoid. Oh, Lord. Okay. Go over there, puppy. Go over there. Good boy. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Okay. You could probably smell me. Yep. Uh, Whee! <laughs> What's the way out of here? Alright. I'm going to try and stay on the ledge just so that they don't, like, detect me over here. Hmm. Is that gate open over there? Maybe, oh, maybe I gotta, like, make it for, like, the hedge maze over there. Since I want to be as far away from that searchlight as possible, here is probably, like, the, the most likely spot. Okay. Um... More puppy. I'll wait for them to go that way. Hark, 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 hark. Bark, 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 bark. Yeah, you get out of there, buddy. See ya, shit lord. Stop! <laughs> I don't know who saw me, <laughs> but okay. Now, so, new theory. Maybe I gotta shoot out some of these lights. No. 
You didn't smell anything. Hmm. Yep. I'll go for it. Whatever, man. <laughs> Such a bop. I think those two are all that I'm going to need to take out. And then it's just a matter of, like... So the, the, the guards up there probably won't be able to see me now. Unless they have, like, heat vision or something. Which I doubt. I, don't, I, I doubt they do. Because I was able to at least stand up here before. <laughs> Yo, this is fire! I didn't know Sam had a mixtape. <laughs> No, he didn't. He's lost his scent. Good to know that scent only travels on one plane. <laughs> Okay, couple things. One, light. Two, searchlight. Oh, crap. Picked up a scent. Ah! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> I failed! <laughs> oh, audio on possible hostility. What the hell? Sam! Grab the ledge! Full on dancing to that music. I'm here fighting. I'm under fire. Okay, all right. Too close. Hmm. Impatience. Impatience. Ah! I love that sound so much. I wonder what it was like. Like, you know, again, me going into um, a lot of voice acting related stuff. The one thing I think about is like, what do you think it was like? To get into the recording booth and just be like, okay, this is the sound of Sam Fisher falling off of a cliff. So, there, there's your inspiration. Go, Michael, go. <laughs> like, ah, okay. So the timing on this is like, I have to avoid the NPCs, and I have to avoid the searchlight. Which are two things that I despise. Hmm. All I- picked up a trail. Damn it! <laughs> what do you mean? I was just about to make a joke. I smell fingers. <laughs> Buddy, you're getting on my last nerve. Too late. I do 
wonder, like, how worth it is it to take out these uh, these lights? Probably, like, worth it enough. This is a nice little hidey hole. So this is... I'm, I'm dumbfounded by this, honestly. This is the most, like, intense freaking thing that they currently have going on in, you know, the NSA. And they're like, we need to send our best operative out there and send them out with the least amount of supplies possible. I know he's been very frugal in making sure that he doesn't use things when he doesn't need to, but I mean, <laughs> somebody else could use those, you know? How did dog pick up scent? Holy crap. That was all the way across the map. Okay, I did have one idea. Um, I'm kind of walking into... I'm walking in the opposite direction of the, how the searchlight is moving, if you're noticing that. Uh, let's let up the previous save. And instead, we're going to try and like run this direction on this side instead. We're going to try and follow the searchlight, and uh, hopefully that will... Help me stay out of sight a little bit easier. We need more materials, CIA. <laughs> no, 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 they're a different branch. Don't worry. CIA is not like, you know, not involved. They're not the important part here. If anything, I think the CIA, if they heard how, uh, you know, we orchestrate things, I'm pretty sure they would probably make fun of us mercilessly. It's like, I'm sorry, you sent out an operative with how many rounds? <laughs> and that's it? And you sent him after a well-known terrorist. Good. <laughs> Oops. Ha! Ah! Sam. Me and you are going to have words. And they're not going to be very pleasant words. Bang, 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 bang. All this trouble just to get inside. They couldn't have come up with a different way to get me in. What? Who? Who sniffed me out? Was it you? If I had more sticky shockers, one would be going directly on him. Now, technically speaking, I could fix a whole lot of problems here with the handful of bullets I currently have. He's lost his sense. But, you know. I can't solve everything with my gun alone. Move, Fido. What are you talking about? Is it because I moved fast by, like, the tower? Uh... I fell. What does this game want? What is my favorite type of Girl Scout cookie? I'm massively into mints, so thin mints are kind of my jam. 
this, the ta- like the the freaking like the crunchity of the cooking in this, and then how creamy the chocolate on the outside tastes. Okay, friend. Maybe if I'm lucky this time, the stars will align. these dogs. Do I also need to shoot out the lights over there too? Like, would that help? Like, maybe? Part of this Nicolaj business. Huh. I didn't like that. I see what you mean, Amp. I've been... See, I've been there. What's the, um... What's the term? Unsolicited advice? And even then, like, you know, not even unsolicited advice. Just generally rude advice. Been there, man. Or... I can already tell this is not gonna work out. Speak up a cent. That dog! Holy shit! Sadly, I can't climb my way through, like, that part. Stupid dog. Stupid dog! You make me look bad. I will send you 70 boxes of Thin Mints. Please don't. I want to watch my weight. Speak up a cent. What? I was up there for how long? Get out of here. Boring. <laughs> it's like waiting for a bus. Stupid dog. Beep, beep. Who? Please don't let it be a dog. Anything but a dog.
Whack. Yeah, how funny. How interesting. God. How could that be happening? Oh, crap. Holy shit. There's still light in that. What? Oh, it's the window. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway. Don't really know. I'm assuming... Why? Fuck. Wave him off. Okay, the airflow around works. I'd much rather lose an airfoil round than you lose my sticky shocker, because the sticky shocker is like an instant drop. Stupid dog. Yeah, great. Yeah. Let the dog to give him a nap. But like I said, I still have my morals. I am not going to be. Uh, I'm not going to be shooting a dog. What happened? I heard another ding noise. I'm assuming this gate is probably yeah, close. Oh, there's people over there. All right. All right, hey, let me guess. Hedge maze. Dog, what do <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's just like our dogs keel over all the time. We don't feed them. Probably just exhaustion. I'll be back. Where are you going? What did I Get over here. I am tired of all of you. Ugh. Nap. Messages and feedback uh, make you smile or exempt from being deleted because they ain't feedback. I make an effort to mention thank you feedback to my friends so we all get to smile. Nice. Garden gate door code is 2126. Oh, hey, that helps. Okay. Garden gate code. It's not one of like these, is it? Like I said, well, in the bed, it's probably like. Do I just take? Okay, out of spite. Do I... No! I forgot about the searchlight. for death. <laughs> Stupid dog, you really make me look bad. <laughs> also, Synth Voice Network, how you doing? I'm having a lovely day. <laughs> Not losing my mind at all. Up. Oh. 
Yeah, that's probably good enough for now. Yikes. What is your opinion on the song Everybody Do, do the Flop? Um, I don't think I've heard it enough times for me to have an opinion, honestly. Damn it, Bit, remember to save! <laughs> Ah, uh, I, I forgot. That's another thing about older video games. They did not do autosaves. That is a luxury of the modern gaming era. Technically, I guess I'm going to have to take out the dogs if I want to get that door code, because I've already forgotten what it was. So... I feel less bad about the airfoil rounds now. He's picked up a trail. Sleepy time for puppy. Stupid dog. Stupid dog! In future games, they do recognize whenever a canine unit is down, though. I do know that. I just forgot that that was, like... That's a thing that they just didn't note at all in this game. Again, I'm not killing the dogs. I'm just giving them a nice, gentle nap. Mandatory nap time. Uh, what was the code? 2160 something or other? Maybe if I'm lucky, I, I can, like, guess it. Nice place to take a break. Is this it? Nope. Where's my goal? Where am I doing? Where am I going? I am very visible out here. Nothing. Ah, oh, they see me. Hmm, okay. Puppy on a string. <laughs> Puppy on a string. Necessarily know if I have to take out anything. I mean, okay. It's a bit close to the walkway here. And that will help me get through. Did remember to save. <laughs> okay. The next time that I get through the, um, 
through the hedge maze. I, I will say. Because the hedge maze is the part that's, like, genuinely frustrating. Like, just getting there. Bark, nap. <laughs> it's like... Uh. Please spare us from this Groundhog Day. Uh, you all right? You all right? least now well i mean at least now i am certain that i am interested in um you know using airfoil rounds like we've we have deduced that airfoil rounds is a thing that i want to do for this uh, particular part of the mission dang it stupid fido you he absorbed it Find a comfy spot. All right, let's make a save. Hedge fund. Again. Cool. Oh, oh, this is locked. Okay. Oh crap. Ah oh, crap. Can you open the gate for me? <laughs> it went from normal face to this. <gasps> that dog's immortal. <laughs> Supposed like this is barred. Can't do anything with that. Another frickin' chains locked. Why are you here? Why you gotta investigate shit? I wanna be sneaky without having to worry. You don't have to worry about dog. Ah, oh, okay. Shut up. I found... Howdy. Maybe, uh... Oh, maybe this guy's got the code. That'd be super convenient for me. Groundhog Day is gone. Yay! Well, don't get too excited. Groundhog Day is just one holiday out of the year, after all. We have several more to get stuck in a loop with. Who goes there? Who goes there? Good question. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, ah! Ah! No! No! Oh. My reckoning has come. Ah. 
anger. Gonna sniff me now, you jerk. Don't curse us, bit you. It's like I, I can't stop moving. Like I have to keep freaking going, because this game is just like, hey, dogs. You got like nothing to defend yourself, and a dog that's just decided it wants to inhale all your good stuff. Anyway, 21-26, eh? Let's just run. Let's just go for it. The vibe I'm getting is that I am not going to be able to uh, escape everything here. At least not, like, effectively. All right. This spot has some pretty good shadowy things. I'm gonna save. Uh... Escape Doge. Wanna hear something uh, about Japan? Sure, go for it. I like me some fun facts. Fun facts. Okay, dog sounds like the dog just gave up. Cherry Blossom Tree came early this year. Yeah, I actually, I, I did hear about something. I, I follow somebody who lives in Japan and they were talking about the fact, like, I mean, first of all, they're upset the cherry blossoms wow. only last for a certain amount of time. You know, it's kind of frustrating. But on top of that, um, like, there, there are so many different holidays and whatnot that are based around the cherry blossoms. And it kind of, like, messes with a lot of people's stees when just all of a sudden it's like, nope, fuck you, guys, I'm here. <laughs> cherry blossoms are now in bloom. All right. What? Oh, <laughs> I was just like, are there bats out here? No, it's a butterfly. Or a moth. Door is locked. Oh! Ew! Lambert! I have arachnophobia! <laughs> it's just like... Sam... Really? <laughs> like, on honestly, you can't be serious right now. Ooh. Reprise. I'm getting several health packs. I'm concerned. <laughs> What does that mean? The music's ramping up. All right. Trap? Okay, lasers. Oh, it's like they knew. You're just like, this is the track. This is the one. Are there any cameras in here? At least I could just run through the center, right? Who did that? Did the lights just come on for anybody else? For spy skills. Shoot, there he is. What is that? <laughs> What's this music? Okay. So 
I'm not being slick on this one. Not in the way that I'm normally used to. I have one sticky shocker to my name. Three diversion cameras. Are any of these men Nicolots? Don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Howdy, friend. You know, what, what's funny is that, like, it's hard to do a boss fight in a stealth game when the entire point of the mechanics of a, like, a stealth game is that you're supposed to not be detected, and it's not supposed to be traditionally intense. So for situations like these, it's just like, how do we add intensity without just making it a shootout? All right. I'm unsure if I... If I need to take out everybody? I probably don't. me and you are you the only two that were hired to take care of this wing oh that's a darn shame Ugh. anyway again they'll wake up later and they'll be super confused Door locked. I can dang I'll do something about that. Um. So is this game like Russian, kind of? Um, I mean, it was made by Ubisoft, so it's more like from the French. <laughs> it's got Russia in it, though. And a lot of other superpowers. Anyway, please tell me that I can find, like, supplies. Oh, disposable pick. Who cares? <laughs> oh, I can get through picking a door without having to do the, mi the mini game. Oh. I literally picked a door so that I could get a disposable pick. <laughs> anyway. Is that all this room is? Just a back room where a whole bunch of, like, extra paintings that they couldn't hang on the wall are? Alright. I guess that means I have to go through a different door. And that means it's probably that one. I just noticed there are sensors right there. Is that going to come into play sometime later? Or is it going to come to play, like, right now? Hmm. I don't like how well lit this area is. Ah. Uh. Barely did anything. <laughs> if you break the glass, maybe sensors go off as uh, usual games do. Yeah, I, I did notice that there were little computer um, things on the side of those. 
And I figured that that probably has something to do with alarms going off. So, you know, no point in messing with all the, uh, you know, the extra glass cases. We're not here to burglarize the place. No, no, this is, this is... I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the explanation. I get it. So they bar off those lasers until I get, like, right over here. I'm assuming they were expecting me to come up to this door, find out it was locked. Then as I start picking it, it's like, hey, lights are on, buddy. Did you want to maybe, like, get away from the door? It's fine, though. I'm resourceful. Okay. Um, lesson learned. Staircase is booby trapped. Ha! <laughs> That's just about boob. Sorry. Very immature of me. I'd like to make a formal YouTube apology. <laughs> Boobs! <laughs> Thank you. All right. Don't walk up the staircase. Be ghost. Be secret agent. Seriously, no cameras around here? Good lord. Alright. So. If I can't go up the stairs, I guess that means I gotta, like, hop up here, maybe? Okay. Caution. I'm going to make the assumption. Okay. As long as I don't, like, run through here. As long as I don't, like, trip off any of the lasers. These lights probably don't matter. And these, this takes ten freaking bullets to clean this entire place out. It's nice and quiet. I'm just going to go ahead and save. Um, Stairsers. And let me try this. Ooh. Okay. Good start. Hey. Yeah, can't mess with me. I have the power of God and goggles on my hands. We all spelled boob on calculators, and if you didn't do that silly thing, that's sad. Well, if you didn't do that silly thing, then you lived in the smartphone era where calculators were less of a thing. Uh, so strange. We live in a weird world. Those aren't palace guards. Some kind of special forces. Georgian elite. Probably Kristavi's men. Which would suggest Nikolaj's locals. Does that affect my game? No. Find those interrogation files. And Kristavi's men aren't going to be much friendlier than Nikolaj's. You're authorized for lethal force. But, <laughs> I'm mean. All right. See, this is why I saved my bullets. Because it's bright. As hell in here. All right. Look at these guys down here. Hmm. I, I genuinely, I haven't played this level in Splinter Cell in a long time. Lethal Force, let's go! We must stick to the meta. 
Lethal enforcement will not be done today. Despite the fact it's foolish. Audio on possible hostilities. You didn't hear me. All you saw was a light bulb break. That's fine. Ah, disappointed! What are you doing? Must have been nothing. Maybe it was part of this Nicolad's business. Yeah, it totally was. Get out. There was something there. <laughs> Never mind. They didn't see nothing. Hey, look, a lamp. How the hell? But hugging the wall really does save you in so many circumstances. Chandelier! That might help me. I wonder which spot I need to shoot in order to take the whole thing out. I must be seeing things. I repeat, all the NPCs look like potatoes from far enough away. I hear fighting! I think that might mean they're coming towards me now. Corner. Oh god, I feel like they, they, they nothing. <laughs> I think they walk up and it's like, yeah, maybe it was nothing. Maybe it was a shadow. Maybe it was nothing. Maybe it was nothing. <laughs> I'm playing this game for as long as you guys want. Okay. I'll keep shooting. If I don't move, I'm invisible. <laughs> Except it's legit. Like normally they say that kind of thing as a joke. It's like, don't move. They got eyes like raptors. Maybe it was a shadow. Numero dos. Uh, I don't know how much these things are actually impacting me. There was something there. Probably a lot, actually. With footsteps. Footsteps? What are you going on about? <laughs> so many like again. I saved a total of ten bullets so that I can put them into this wall. I have a bit ringtone slash alarm. I think I've given you a uh, ringtone slash alarm, and it was very annoying. It's like, meep, 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 meep. that's it. <laughs> that's all I have in me. Audio on possible hostilities. Hopefully, they'll give up at last minute. Must have been nothing. That was so loud, what the fuck? Hey! I mean, it's an alarm. That's what it's supposed to do. I'm just gonna record that alarm real quick. <laughs> it's on VOD. I gotta love the um, potato-brained NPCs that just kinda... coast. I missed. Ooh, yeah, that chandelier was doing a lot of work. The 
See, I don't want to shoot any of them that are a little bit too close to people. Because I know those are definitely going to trigger folks. Oh, who saw that? Oh! Oh, you did! Right? No? Who's moving? Who's moving? Must have been nothing. Oh, crap! <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that. We're just like, eh, it's probably the wind. Fuck! <laughs> Background song reminds me of that one chapter in Dead Bird Studio, A Murder of the Owl Express, where uh, Hat Kid is striking that one pose. Maybe it was part of this Nicolaj business. <laughs> Maybe this is training. <laughs> How the yes. <laughs> training. I must be seeing things. My eyes deceive me. I've done a pretty good job of clearing this room. Train in. <laughs> Why are you coming over here, dude? Never heard uh, that song. You gotta tell me when it plays. I'm going to look for it right now. It's like that the, the stealth music from... Uh, from the head and oh well, okay. Maybe it was nothing. I don't think it's exactly the same, but like I don't know, in a similar sort of stealthy vibe, it kind of is. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just shooting lights because lol, funny. Gunfire! I'm investigating. Uh -oh. Corner. I, I I could like leave through the door in worst case scenario here. Must have been Maybe, it was a shadow. Maybe it was part of this Nicolaj's business. That was close. Now is an excellent time to save. Funny like no burp. There's something there. Did you know that there's a uh, company called New Potato Technologies? Yeah, I actually do. And I found out about it through um, a funny Australian man. He really liked nuggets for some reason. Maybe it was not. Must have been nothing. Oh dear. I shit the bed! <laughs> what is this? Sorry. Guy also likes that scarlet fur sound. You know, knocking this guy out anywhere over here would be a very bad idea because I'm pretty sure there are some people up above. I but... have to the head a different interrogator, a different team for each subject. Your subject was one of Nicolazes' colonels too? Yes. What did they ask him? About something called the Ark. 
I couldn't make sense of it. Cristavi doesn't want anybody to know everything about it. Except himself. He obsesses over it. Sits up there on the fourth floor, just watching the files over and over again. Jesus, I would never want to see those things again. The things we did for that information. Speaking of things I did. And luckily, nobody got alerted by that. Shocking. What? Did I move too fast? Oh. Okay, yeah. There was something there. Who goes there? Hark! Let's see if I can take out another guy. Maybe it was part of this Nicolas. <laughs> Damn it. I was kind of hoping I could maybe, like, lure him with a sound. Okay. Uh, I guess that means we're going to have to, like, lure some people the good old-fashioned way. With a bullet. There's something there. Ah, damn it. I must be seeing things. Yeah, I must just be seeing the fact that the light bulb exploded. <laughs> oh, these NPCs, like... So easy. So, so simple-minded. Yeah, I must be seeing Shadow the Hedgehogs. Funny enough. There was something there. Did the dude up above leave his post? Buddy. Disappointed. <laughs> All right. Did I get any notes for this uh, door key? Oh. I mean, that's the garden gate. Uh, I'm guessing one of these soldiers probably has the key. And that means I got one more work to do, I think. Okay, well. <laughs> I Didn't I make a warning about the fact that that's probably going to get their attention? Friend. And I know everybody in their dog is currently talking about um, the fact that, like, Keanu Reeves is going to be playing Shadow the Hedgehog. Honestly, my happiness could not be any higher. I think w when it happened in... So yeah! Yeah, Keanu Reeves is going to be Shadow the Hedgehog. Legit. Not fucking with you. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I don't think that place is safe either. Okay. Yeah, it's super cool. Here. Swap over to live chat. That thing wasn't working properly. But anyway, <laughs> I know it's it kind of falls within the um the the realm of like, oh, I help big, you know, big name celebrity being hired on specific 
your Can you stop talking? Fuck! Kernels too? Yes. What did they ask him? About something called the Ark. I couldn't make sense of it. Kristavi doesn't want anybody to know everything about it. Except himself. He obsesses over it. Sits up there Maybe on the fourth floor, just watching the files over okay. and over again. Jesus, I would never want to see those things again. The things we did for that information. Audition for Beauty and the Beast play. Oh, very nice. That's a leading role right there. I think I heard something. Sam. Friggin' heck, man. Cool. Anyway, when I first saw uh, the announcement that, you know, Sonic... It, well, Shadow was going to be played by... Uh, um, yeah, by Keanu Reeves. Like, I think I posted it over in one of my uh, other servers that I'm in, where I was just like, you know, wake the fuck up, hedgehog. We have a zone to burn. <laughs> and then a post of Johnny Silverhand. <laughs> you wouldn't have been have a satchel on you, would you? Keanu Reeves is the old one, uh, wait. The old one I can't be mad at for that. Oh, the, okay, is the only one that I can't be mad at for that. No, fair. This is correct. All right. Ooh. I am moving snail pace. What do you... Something there. Hello. Do you have a funny present for me? You're making my life hell, you know that? We're going downstairs and I'm hiding you under the stairs. I gotta say, I'm in there's a few reasons specifically why I am very happy that uh, Cyberpunk 2077 had the turnaround that it did. You know, despite the very, very, very rocky start, um, it turned out good. And one of those reasons is I really badly wanted Keanu Reeves to be in, like, you know, a star-studded video game. And um, I'm happy that I'm happy for him that he got that opportunity. Um, door codes. So how many people are left at this point? I think it's only this guy. The boy, a boy got cast as Bell. Progressive as hell. I am proud of your school. So how the hell? Oh, Yo, he's walking that way. I'm taking this opportunity to. Are you? No. That dude really loves that one particular white light bulb. What the? <laughs> Not connected to your school. This explains so many things. <laughs> Who goes there? Oh, that's right. You only said it was an audition. Cool. Cool. have been nothing. Dead. Oh. Hi, it's me. I'm nothing. <laughs> kill the lights, kill the lights, kill <laughs> Murder! <laughs> Fall over, you jerkwad. Anyway. I gotta say, um, I have had all, all the other Splinter Cells that I played, they had their frustrating moments, but like, 
I have not had too many of those moments where I've like genuinely been absolutely driven mad by like trying desperately to get through the game. So this is definitely a much more like refreshing type of Splinter Cell game to be playing. Cause I'm just like, oh right, this is what it was like. I get it now. I see. I see why I keep saying that like Splinter Cell 3 was the, the game that made it work. Again, I wish you good luck. Let the bodies hit the floor. All right, notes. 70021. All right. Let's go ahead and save now. Sure. Bodies. Oh, wait, wait. How many lights take? Wait, how many lights does that take out? Was I wasting a lot of my bullets there? I guess it's not much of a waste if it meant I got up here to hit the switch. Hi. Ah. I assume that this is another situation where I could probably save some. Hi! I didn't know you'd be there. <laughs> Check your corners. All right. Oh! I just realized. A little bit too dark. A little too light where I was standing. <laughs> That's not going to work. Buddy! I think I heard something. I must be seeing things. We heard something, Eddie. <laughs> what is that? Oh. I think I saw something. No, you didn't. Somebody attacked one of our men. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, okay. I see potential here. Mm -hmm. Hold up. I'm going to magically turn into the conductor. <laughs> Abracadabra! <laughs> that voice made me think of the uh, meme. What's this person? What's this person? Ooh, something's over there. Maybe it was part of this Nicolad's business. I must be seeing things. Go for it. Come on. Must I love you. Be nothing. I left a perfectly good bait. Please don't turn around. Audition for the amazing digital circus play. There's an um, uh, amazing digital circus play you're doing? Or that you're thinking about audition? First off, I didn't really know that, like... What? Like, you know, what plays are you auditioning for? Are these, like, digital, like, virtual plays? Freaking rad, honestly. I hear something. It sounds like a camera. Ha! 
top-notch men. That's a risk and a half. Not taking it. Men unconscious. <laughs> oh, the frickin' Looney Tunes-esque stuff that happens with this game. <laughs> Bam! Holy shit! My buddy's unconscious! Burp! <laughs> Not the dreaded camera peeping. Anyways, now we hide. Now we hide them. I want to be a little bit like, you know, careful with the amount of bullets that I uh, spend because like we're, I think this is last mission territory. <laughs> All the signs are there. I just get a vibe. Just being like, no, this, I think this is the, the toughest challenge. Fitting. All right, what do we got here? Two doors that I can't go through. Camera's just recording everyone being knocked out. Now conveniently it's, it's like facing that way. It's just facing a wall. <laughs> It's like, ah, yes, the paint is drying very quickly. Mm. It's one of those uh, newfangled good ones. Ones I can't shoot out. Ah, uh, well, this is not a problem for me. Because I have the magic of being able to shoot things. Other things, I should say. Anything, uh, whoa. All right, so what's what's progress and what's not? What? Why have the super high quality? Is it this door lock? Okay, what's in here? Now, once again, Nova, where are these auditions taking place? I'm assuming it's like a virtual play of some kind. Okay, that looks like a good time to save. Sunset Theater Company, they have a program called Broadway Bound. Interesting. Whoop! President Kristavi, sir, is that you? Nicolaz and his men are almost at the library. We are continuing to hold back until he's actually inside, sir. But dare you turn that on, sir? I was having a fun moment. Would you like to come and talk with the fish in the fish tank? Again, I have no idea what progress is and what isn't. So... Maybe I've made progress. I have no idea. Who gave one of the children a knife? <laughs> Whatever. It's, it's, it's for self-defense. Probably. Okie dokie. Oh, is this going to be secure? I have no idea. I think once I um, once I flip the switch back over, probably will. Let me, give me that satchel. Yeah, good enough.
I am freaking out, man. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. Uh. Oh, good. This will calm my nerves. Wait. Oh, I'm assuming... Is it the window? Do I have to go through the window? No? I don't think so. Doesn't look open to me. Door lock. Could there be a secret switch on the wall? Well, that's just a heater. I think this is a completely inconsequential room. Like, I think the only thing that I'm finding here is the med kit and nothing else. Next time the punishment evading person returns, permanent ban. Ooh, boy. Oh, right, computer. Um, all right, let's see what's on. I hate this kind of thing. What do you have? Interrogation, torture, and... Oh, Christ! What? The Ark is a Sato. A what? A special atomic demolition munition. You mean a nuclear suitcase bomb? Yeah. I'll get back to you. Oh, shoot! Nuclear suitcase bomb? Dang. I had no... I mean, first of all, is that even a thing? The Ark is the mission, Fisher. Get it. It's in a safe inside a vault in the library. Locked by scanner to Nikolaids' retina. So I'm going to need Nikolaids alive to get the Ark. That's right. Of course. Why would it be anything else? Now again, I don't think there's anything I gotta do here. All right. He was supposed to get permaban, but left. Oh, I see. Ran away from uh, his consequences like a coward. Hmm. Funny. Uh, let's see. Okay. Briefcase. Scary. Guess it's good that I, um... That was much less a detour and more like a, necess a necessity, so good, I thought, to go through that room first. I'm assuming this is probably the library, since I didn't go through this door before. What? Hi! Who are you? How the hell? Yeah, good. Enemy palace <laughs> Shut up! All right. Oh, whoops. Briefcase. Ah, yes, I remember that one. Memories. Weirdest, taintest of memories. Who the hell? Oh! <laughs> okay. Jeez. Oh, wait. Briefcase. And before you ask, no, none of the underage characters are dateable. Just to take that weight off your frickin' mind. You know about that? Oh, I know about it. <laughs> I'm aware. I knew people who were a part of it. And also, I played it as a joke. <laughs> so, you know. Cool. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Ugh. 
grabbing this guy. I didn't do any line. Well, okay, I didn't do any like official lines or anything for it. It exists though. Honestly, I probably wouldn't actually be a part of any uh, projects like that simply because, like, I don't know. Like, again, not massively into AU stuff and also not massively into, like, you know, weird shipping stuff. So, for me, it was kind of just a one-off haha gaff thing. Oh, look, dead people. <laughs> Sobering. We've reached the library. Nikolaj is inside. Everybody at alert. We are retrieving the Ark. Be ready to get out of here. Alright, so six, I think, yeah, six, six, seven, six, eight. Ah. They're really bringing back a whole lot of the classics here. Whatever, man. I have learned very quickly here that there aren't really any interrogations, so if I've got an opportunity to knock somebody out, I should probably just take it. I don't know. Go check it. just like audition for whatever you think would be fun. Is that guy okay? <laughs> I think might have made him a tiny bit paranoid. Oops. I mean, you know, as is right. We're dealing with a lot of crazy stuff in here, so... Look at this spec ops looking guy. There was something. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there was something. <laughs> if an uh, conductor invited you to be a part of his movie, would you join or say peck nah? Um, I mean, on a positive. Well, their movies are fairly successful. Kind of. Maybe. I... Are they? No, they're kind of a massive dead. <laughs> um, I would likely say thanks, but no thank you. Uh, the opportunity is appreciated. Here. Music just a little bit loud. Let me go ahead and um, hide all the bodies. <laughs> okay, so this floor is cleared. That door is barred shut. Probably need to switch the 
thing. I think this thing's locked as well. Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. Lift it is. They will never find the bodies. My boss. <laughs> Little do you know he's being 100% serious. <laughs> that door is barred. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, thank you. I mean, I don't know if I need that ammo, but I'll, I'll take it. Sweet. I would have walked past that. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna take the plunge. Is it down? I mean, hey. We have an intruder. Some kind of American commando. Get Nikolaj into the vault. Keep his head down until we take care of this. Did you just see me? Oh god, they see me! Not so. Damn it. <laughs> oh no. Can I save? Oh, auto save. Oh! Pretty far away. Alright. Oh. This part wasn't too hard. Everybody at alert. We are retrieving the ark. Be ready to get out of here. Okay. Noted. Save at that point. There's someone there. No, there isn't. What's up, Mr. Commando? Sleep. Body hiding. I don't think stealth will help us in that part, but! <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, then that means it's time for a little ingenuity. Eh? A little bit of playing with the tools that I got. Problem is, I'm currently in, like... I'm, I'm in a situation where I don't know whether or not what I currently have on me is going to be valuable later on in the level. And I don't want to end up accidentally using up things that I probably shouldn't. You know what I mean? Oh, it's the classic video game, but I might need it later thing. Good old fashioned murder. <laughs> I mean, that is an option as well. The bullets are here, and they are available. Oh. Sleep. <laughs> Meow, Dad! I did just get a frag grenade. <laughs> they're, they're really telling me, it's just like, Hey, dude, why don't you kill folks? <laughs> did you know it's possible in this game? It's really fun. You should try it. It's like, come on. I get it. Now I just need this guy to stop moving. Hey. Hey. Go inspect that. I'm going to change my profile to conductor. Do it! <laughs> Do it! You won't. Oh. Nap time. There we go. Just handed out naps like candy. Are we conduct- <laughs> We're becoming the conductor army now? Not officially! <laughs> However... Alright. Now... Med kit. Ammo for the other gun. Last stream snatcher. Now he's conductor? Hi! <laughs> totally possible. All right. Okay. Time for thoughts. Um, div uh, so everybody is going to be... I think smoke grenade to start out would be a good move. Just to kind of like cloud people up a bit. 
then uh finding a nice shady spot down there to kind of like tuck myself i guess we'll see how that goes oh lord here we go So freaking dumb. Dumb that it's, it's dumb that like I I can't shoot out the light above me. We have an intruder, some kind of American commando. Get Nikolaj into the vault. Keep his head down until we take care of this. Up. Oh, ah, oh, I used them both up. Okay. Oh, are those smoke grenades? Smoke to knock people out. I thought it was a smoke screen. Womp womp. <laughs> Oops. Uh, all right. So it's, uh, it's smoke that knocks people out. Got it. Lots of murmur today. No! You will not tempt me, demon! <laughs> Today will not be the day of Moida. Uh, ah, okay. These smoke grenades might work if I plant them just right. I gotta make a good choice on it, though. We have an intruder. Some kind of American commando. Commando. Get Nicholas into the vault. Keep his head down she until we take care of it. Wait a minute. Oh, no, never mind. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Shit. Can they see me? Yep, yeah, they see me. Okay, it does eventually knock people out. All right, all right. We have identified that these will work as a means of knocking people out. I think that might be enough. We have an Let the demon kind of tempt American you. Get into the vault. Bring the bloodshed. We've come so far, though, guys. We've done so good to not kill up to this point. Yep. You! Sam! Uh, where is he? Oh, he's above me. Ow! These, uh, these soldiers sound like oddly American. Music hitting the beat. <laughs> mm, okay, my strategy of running to go shoot light bulbs doesn't seem to be working. So I think finding a nice comfy spot to just sort of crouch in might be a good idea. To we have an intruder, it. some kind of American commando. Get Nikolaj into the vault. How do you know I'm American? Down until we take care of it. Ah, uh, this is the same. Ah, damn it. Okay. <laughs> I did good by just, like, knocking somebody out in one hit, though. Smoke bomb, then snipe. I don't want... <laughs> but snipe means shoot. Snipe, snipe means death. This is one of the reasons why, like... There, there was that one guy who mentioned, um... 
in uh, on, on blue sky. It's being like, it's foolish to do non-lethal. Full non-lethal is is bad. So if I were to just like full tilt run directly in the direction of where they are. Oh, they're like hiding behind bookcases. I'm learning my way around. I am learning where they all are. Honestly, hiding behind that one bookshelf that I went to immediately isn't a bad idea. Give us the blood for the blood god! We have an intruder, some kind of American commando. Get Nikolaj into the vault, keep his head down until we take care of this. What about over here? What's up? Where's he? Where'd he go? Where's he? Is he crouching back there? Oh. I think that bounced. Oh. It is now that I wish I kept some of the airfoil rounds. Um. We're gonna start. Okay. This is a circumstance where Sticky Shocker is... This is what Sticky Shocker was made for. We're going to start strong by shocking somebody. And then I'm going to pray to God and load up something else. Some kind of Conduct an army Keep attack! Keep his head down until we take care of it. It's time for the... Yeah, God. Ah! That was quick! Jesus. I have a plan. It's just that they do not want me to execute it. Give us blood! But It's the only option. <laughs> we have an intruder. Some kind of American commando. Get Nikolaj into the vault. Keep his head down until we take care of it. Ow. <laughs> Funny enough! Wait a minute. Wait. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That was that was almost hilarious how easy it was for me to go down there. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I wanna go down this rabbit hole. Give me a second. We have an intruder! Some kind of American commando. Get Nikolaj into the vault. Keep his head down until we take care of it. Move! Goodbye! <laughs> See you later, shit lords! <laughs> Can't kill what you can't see. <laughs> uh, I'm nearly dead. Your ambush has failed, bastards. Oh, did you kill him? Oh my God, who are you? What oh, are you? He can see me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I knew there was a way. There's always a way. <laughs> Anyways, hi, Mr. Nicolaj himself. Tell me about the art. Let me walk away. I can make you rich. I know what it is. I want to know where it came from. This gets you nowhere. Hmm. This buddy ain't gonna talk, huh? Also, give me a second. I, I, this is important. Where's the, um, the sound settings? Music's a bit high. Let's drop it for this, uh, sequence. There we go. What are you going to do with it? With what? The Ark. Where are you going to detonate it? Kill me, or let me go. What you're doing now is hopeless. Tell me about the Ark. This is pure eye. I'll say no more. Hmm. Well, dialogue sequence uh, 
Tells the truth, I guess. All right. So, first things first. Is that the arc right there? Also, we got a computer sitting here. Okay. Seems the computer is not... Friendly reminder to save. Good point. I think that's how you spell his name. God, I hope so. Anyways. Poke. Nobody move. Hands in the air. Nobody move. Nobody move. Come by Nikolai's. And who is your friend? An American? Ask him. You will give us the Ark. I am not God. You will give us the Ark. I honestly don't know what you are speaking of. Christavi knows it is a nuclear suitcase bomb, and he knows you have it. <sighs> Clever man. Does he know that it is already in America? What? The Ark is not here. Keep talking. The only thing in this vault is the activation key. The bomb itself is in America. If Christavi guarantees my freedom, I'll tell him where to find the Ark. Give us the activation key. This spy has the key, this American. You'll have to take it from him. I didn't do shit. I can give you the location, but only on the condition of my safety and freedom. Agreed. He's lying. You two, escort Mr. Nicolaides out of the library. You, who are you? Uh... Don't talk, Fisher. We're arranging for a blackout in five seconds. Make the most of it. Give us the key to the Ark. You can hand it to me, or I can take it from your corpse. You have five seconds to decide. Four seconds. Three. Two. Who's there? Oh, shoot. They can see me. Bye. <laughs> Dang it. That was a good time to save. Anyway. Oh, dang it. I kind of wanted to, like, check the computer over there. Oh. Nobody move. Hands so in these the guys air. have special Nobody ops, move. like... Nobody move! Come by Nikolai's. And who is your friend? An American? Ask him. You will give us the Ark. I am not God. You will give us the Ark. I honestly don't <laughs> yeah, know what Dad. you are speaking of. Christavi knows it is a nuclear suitcase bomb. And he knows you have it. <sighs> Clever man. Does he know that it is already in America? What? The Ark is not here. Keep talking. The only thing in this vault is the activation key. The bomb itself is in America. If Christavi guarantees my freedom, I'll tell him where to find the Ark. Give us the activation key. This spy has the key, this American. You'll have to take it from him. I can give you the location, but only on the condition of my safety and freedom. Agreed. You two, escort Mr. Nicolaides out of the library. You, who are you? I'm Mr. Don't Samantha talk, Fisher. Fisher. We're arranging for a blackout in five seconds. I mean, make the most of it. Give us the key to the Ark. Five seconds. You can hand it to me, or I can take it from your corpse. You have five seconds to decide. Four seconds. Three. To show yourself. Damn it, okay, that didn't work. Shit. Their guns are powerful. Who's there? Whoa. That's saved in an odd place. Oh, shit. Okay. I, I Luckily, I did not kill him. What? 
do that. Bar. Mm. It's gonna be difficult. Who did that? Blood jet, blood jet. <laughs> I know a good streamer will give the audience what they want. But here, give me a second. Who's there? Okay, they know exactly where I'm at. Um... For some reason, that didn't work. I can't... What? Okay, am I hitting his gun instead of his face? What the heck? Show it should be working. I want to see what's on that laptop. And I'm going to get through each of you non-lethally to do it. I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it! Who's there? Stop unloading all the ammunition directly into my cranium. Okay, this is what morphine. This is what morphine was invented for. Shit. Ah. Damn it. Shit. Ah. Ah. Kill for us. <laughs> Slaughter the non innocent. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. All right, doing good, doing good, doing good. There's one more guy sitting over there. Oh, two guys. Yes! <laughs> Sucker! Where's the rest of them? I see one guy over there. He knows I'm over here. Ow, ow, ow. Shit. Ah, oh, you freaking jerk. Okay. Can't see him. Ah, oh, it didn't do anything. Once again, by the skin of my teeth. Murder, 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 murder. Anyway, you have a satchel on you. I want to see what you got. Data stick. What's that mean? What does that say? I just got the final go for tonight's operation. We are to allow Nicolods and his men complete access to all areas of the palace until we receive the radio signal. At that moment, all of Nicolods' guards should be disarmed. Those who refuse should be killed. If possible, we should take Nicolods alive. Well, they definitely did that. I want to take a look at his computer. Let's see. Anything like, you know, absolutely filthy? Uh, President Nicolades, 
I'm having this hand delivered, a slightly odd method for an email, but I believe it offers the safest combination of encryption and human security. This is our best translation of the final communication from Fei Rong. I did the best I could, but there are strings of words beyond my abilities, as follows. Nicolad's you, untranslatable. <laughs> Easy swear word, you know it is. Uh, you won't have a Chinese flunky to do your work for you anymore. You arrogant, wish you were European. I'm already on my way. Sleep is coming. We misunderstood America's strength. I thought their obesity, their laziness, would make them an easy target. But being fat and lazy is their strength. My people, untranslatable, it's the inertia. They are easy to attack, hard to wound. My suicide should guarantee me a place in hell untranslatable we'll be waiting for you nicolods talk to you soon general kong Feirong. well i kept him alive well actually no he died like the second i had him like do stuff on his computer didn't he Eh, not my fault <laughs> that's the best i can manage for my time my deepest condolences for the loss of gringo he was uh-oh <laughs> oh no ran out of time Snatcher makes a contract for you if you murder. Chat will stop uh, begging for bloodshed. I'm fine. Look, I've dodged Snatcher's uh, contracts before. And I can do it again. So. Yeah, I guess we're good. Though I don't know how many other um, armed forces are currently waiting on the outside of this, uh, this place. And I have used up. Most, if not all, of my non-lethal options. So, depending on how absolutely frustrating this gets, you may yet have your bloodshed. No promises. Sad murder noises. <laughs> Fisher, we can't let Nicolads walk away. You think he really knows where the Ark is? Yes. We can't let him live with that information. An intruder, an American, a spy is loose in the building. All troops to full alert. And we know that they have the ability to see me in the dark. So, you know. That's fun information. Oh, hey. Dude Satchel from earlier. <laughs> what do you have to say? Um, Here. Oh, wait, no. I, I Oh, okay. I, I guess they, they probably, like, sort it by, uh, by, I mean, you, you know, by the order you would probably find them. Elevator is not... Ah. Oh, boy. Where'd he go? Where's he walking? Nothing. You saw nothing. The American is carrying intelligence vital to the safety of our nation. His capture or death is our highest imperative. Where am I going from here? Oh! Damn it! Where was my last save? Show ah. yourself. Welcome back, everybody. It's chaos hour. All right. Back. <laughs> There's your blood. <laughs> Who's there? It's uncannon, but there's your blood. <laughs> Oops. That's <laughs> like, whoopsie, whoopsie, wrong trigger. <laughs> Show yourself. Yeah. 
You've got to be kidding. Me. God, I am. Nope, not dealing with that. Show That's yourself. Garbage. Yippee! <laughs> Murder happened. What? Okay, there we go. Okay, I think that'll work. Ow, 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 ow. That missed entirely. Shoot. What? Did, did both those miss? Oh my freaking god, are you kidding me? Who's there? Peace and tranquility, Daz. Oops, I, I moved a little bit wrong there. Who did that? Okay. Whoa! No! Yourself. I accidentally deselected my cameras on accident. Man, there's a reason why using Who's the security there? cameras as like a knockout thing ain't a guaranteed win. <laughs> this is a hell of my own making. I've made this decision. What? Cut. Hit him in the head! Who did that? Absolute dingus! Stream to sleep, so good night. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Kill another guy, bit. <laughs> Who's there? Make brain go splat. Ricochet this. Ah, sucker. All right. Now go ahead. Use the rest of your clip. Do it. Shoot more. Shoot the crate more. That will help you.
Gotta dig in. And this time with more health. All right, let's grab the thing. Peace was never an option. <laughs> no! I mean, look. It's true that we are currently dealing with an enemy that is um, incredibly ravenous and wants all of us dead. Thoroughly dead. But still. I think there's always a chance for diplomacy. <laughs> uh, I just, I want, yeah, I want to be that weenie. I want to be that guy who's just like, no, peace and love for all. Anyway, I picked up one of the sticky cameras. Um, is that the only one? Hold on a second. I still have all three of my sticky cameras. Hey. Very nice. Fisher, we can't let Nicolads walk away. You think he really knows where the Ark is? Yes. We can't let him live with that information. An intruder. An American. A spy is loose in the building. Oh. Let's go ahead and save here. Hmm. He's heading that way. What is there? Something there. What is there? Oh, God! <laughs> I I'm wondering whether or not I can just, like, Book it. I mean, I did it once. I think I can do it again. Army of Snatcher Crabs or an Army of Conductors. Uh, the, the Snatcher Crabs are going to peck all their eyes out. Someone there. The American is carrying intelligence vital to the safety of our nation. If capture or death is our highest imperative. Under the shadow of night. Y'all don't know what's going to hit you. Hi. Ha! Fisher. Get my last nerve, buddy. It's okay, president's fine. Ah, there you go, guys. Will you shut the hell up? I love that. Possible. like oh my god i mean i know all of this chaos understood but 
I, I love that one bit. <laughs> it's just like, possibly multiple shooters. It couldn't possibly be one extremely agile moron. Ah! Engaging the enemy. Uh. Well, I can do it better this time. And also, you guys get to see the bloodshed again. He's dead! We got the murder we crave! And guess what? You get to see it a second time. Why, that was so good. I think I'd like to try it a second time. The American is carrying intelligence vital to the safety of our nation. If capture or death is our highest imperative. Uh, let's be let's be real. There was never going to be a non-lethal run. <laughs> it was only going to be saved for the one special kill. Maybe. Let me be as clear as possible. Snipe Nicolads from there. Do it now. Don't miss. You probably won't get a second chance at this. Sharp work, Fisher. Maybe it was time not. to get scarce. That data you're carrying is the last of it. The last of what? Nicolads' threat against the U.S. Our highest priority right now is keeping what you're carrying out of enemy hands. The Osprey's waiting. And now let's watch this chaos again. Shot fired in Kristavi's office. What Kristavi's status? Cover President Kristavi. Get the president to a secure location. Assassin in the palace. I need all men. Possible multiple shooters. <laughs> I love it. it there was one bullet. Singular. Find the assassin. Multiple Don't shooters. Shoot right. Lethal force. The assassin is top priority. Where's Nikolaj? Who's covering Nikolaj? Unconfirmed report that Nikolaj has been shot. Unconfirmed report that Nikolaj has been Repeat, Nikolaj is down. Find the assassin. Nikolaj, sleep with fish. How would Snap beat Conductor? Um, I think Snap would beat Conductor. I mean, how do you, how do you think Snap fights people again with the sharp, you know? Tangly bits, and then they go for the eyeballs and, like, you know, destroy your face. <laughs> they go for, like, you know, the moneymaker first. Uh, Alright, so let's save. Um... <laughs> Tee Howdy, friend. We've had a long night. Maybe not you and I, but it's been a long night. Does Conductor even have eyes? I've never seen them. You have a point. <laughs> Whatever constitutes eyes in his logic, that's what they go for. Okay, this door is locked. I, I don't know what door I'm supposed to be going through next. Likely this door off to the side here. And conveniently, all these doors are locked. Let me see if this one opens right away. It does. Ah, oh, I'm finally here to get a, a nice plate of turkey or whatever. Who? Hello? Chef? Hello? See, luckily, these are just like regular old freaking goons. I can deal with this.
Just doing a standard scan of the area. One that will be fruitless. There's nothing here. What's your plan? Are you gonna look around or are you just gonna like stare in that corner from now to like forever? Your timing sucks. Ugh, watch it. of industrial light bulb was that? You know what? I'm in a good mood today. As long as you promise not to shoot me, I'll let you live. In fact, it kind of sounds like the main thing they want you to do at this point is just, you know, avoid all the enemies. You know, it can be done. Picked the wrong day to face that direction. <laughs> also, funny satchel, gimme. All troops to full sweep for the American spy. He must be captured or killed at any cost. What fuck? Engaging hostiles. All right, so here's one of those moments that having the camera to look under the door is actually important. <laughs> oh. So rarely do you absolutely have to use that. <laughs> Holy crap. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. The doctor doesn't have eyes, but he can see. It's like I have no mouth and I must scream. All troops to full sweep for the American spy. He must be captured or killed at any cost. Understood, and I'm going to go ahead and um, 
Speed trap. Now, out of curiosity. <laughs> we'll find you. You're surrounded. We'll find you. How about you come and try? You're surrounded. We'll Give find up. you. You're surrounded. We'll Give find up. you. All right. Wonder if I can wait him out. <laughs> oh. I see there's that guy walking around. Uh, what direction is he, uh, he going? I was imagining things. Yeah, I just imagined being knocked out. Or knocking somebody out. Being knocked out. Imagination. All right. Okay. So there's no easy way for me to open. How do I open the door? Okay, maybe. If I'm making a funny noise that's next to the door, maybe I can get their attention and like break their AI. Um, again, I mean, hey, just because somebody doesn't have eyes doesn't necessarily mean that they can't be, like, you know, clawed in places that would hurt. And Snab can do that. Snab has proven that he is capable of doing exactly that. Also, I only just realized I do have a camera jammer. Boy, oh boy. Um. Oh, how does one do this? Get out of the way! Watch it! Yep. I think this is just a case of um, me being careful. Is there a snap video? Uh, there's no dedicated snap video. But he's like, you know, I've had video of him in the past uh, and streams of him in the past where he's just been a chaotic little gremlin. So. Enemy on palace Ooh. grounds. Ugh. You're surrounded. Give up. We'll find you. You're surrounded. Give up. All right, I have managed to disturb them. Maybe that'll be enough to like get their attention. Oh shit. Damn. Where is he? Bizarre. He couldn't have just died. Ugh. There is nothing here. Damn. Man down. He's Where still is breathing. he? Hold your punch. Camera. You'll find you. Oh damn. Oh crap. You're not out Give up. I have one health pack to my name. I got yeah. your man. Unconscious. Where is he? Monster. Whoa, fuck! We'll find you. 
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Something's over there. Fuck! Give up! I'm under fire! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Being non lethal sucks! Speed tarp! Alright. Enemy on palace grounds! That feels unfair. Like, even. Is there a way that you can get past this without doing that part? There must be, right? Is he dead? <laughs> All right. Seriously! <laughs> like, they give you no time to react. Is it a... Do a murder bit. I... I can't even do a murder. I open the door and suddenly just, like, you know, murder is foisted upon me. We'll find you. You're surrounded. We'll Give find up. you. You're surrounded. Give we'll find you. All right. You're surrounded. Give up. Enemy on palace grounds. Move. Get out of the way. We'll find you. This is dangerous. They find me? We'll find you. You can take a fun little nap. Ah! What kind of gun do you have? Conductor crap. Oh my god! Uh, just make all the Hat in Time characters crabs. Position. That sounds like a good uh, good move. Uh, I I fumbled that. I forgot. See, I I've, I've got it saved with my pistol out. Really should have it saved this way though. Enemy on palace grounds. Move. Got him. You're surrounded. Give up. Get out of the way! Watch it! We'll find you! Just murder can't be living in a loop. <laughs> it's fine. Damn. Where is he? Uh. Man down! He's still but he couldn't have just landed. Engaging Hostel! Uh. Help. You're shut out. Give up. We'll find you. Camera. So this is why I hide the bodies. I put them in nice, quiet corners so I don't have to worry about it. Okay. All right. It is 11 o'clock. I, I just noticed that, too. My God. All right. How many guys are left at this stage? Because I think I may have hit the best case scenario here. Twelve AM for me. Good lord. <laughs> uh sorry for keeping you up then. Sticky cam. What do you think the conductor crab would sound like? Probably a lot angrier than Snatcher Crab. <laughs> but which is funny, because Snatcher Crab already sounds pissed. You know, Snatcher Crab sounds like 
Maybe it's just a louder one. <laughs> <laughs> what is my why does my brain work like this? Doing mod stuff in the background. Ooh, nice. Anyway. Ow. Wait a minute. I recognize this room. God, they work quick. <laughs> They're just like, oh, yeah, we'll fix up all those light bulbs right away, sir. The end. Run, Sam, run. I feel like there probably could have been easier ways to get out of there aside from just running from gunfire, like, thrown at you constantly. Ta-da! Georgian Presidential Palace. Intelligence gained from the Georgian Presidential Palace identified the Ark as a special atomic munitions device. The fact that it was already in place a short distance from Washington, D.C. made Nikolaj a clear threat to the safety of the American people. In accordance with the Fifth Freedom, that threat was neutralized. An eight-story apartment building and surrounding four blocks in Hopegate, Maryland, were evacuated today by the National Guard. Authorities cited a gas leak as the reason for the evacuation, stressing that today's events ha. have no relation whatsoever to Combein Nicolaitz or the Georgian information crisis. Of course it did. Hopegate, less than half an hour from downtown Washington, D.C., will... Since the recovery and confirmed identity of President Combein Nicolaitz's corpse five days ago... Palace guards fatally shot President Nicolaides in the midst of what appears to have been an attempted ousting of acting President Varlam Kristavi. In a press conference this morning, U.S. President Bowers lauded the American people for their courage. We were injured. We stumbled. But we did not fall. The world knows no hardship or terror that American Aww. tenacity cannot overcome. Sam being the chill. The world knows no problem that American ingenuity cannot solve. <laughs> and so Dad, I extend my so deepest funny? admiration to every U.S. citizen of the world, to every civilian and every soldier standing firm against the terror and tyrannies of wicked men. History will not forget your resolve. <laughs> History will not forget your resolve. Dad, what's going on? Yeah, they you will. You haven't laughed since the Reagan administration. <laughs> it's nothing. Forget about it. We have kept the bright flame That's the of American line, freedom burning me. throughout oh. the world. May God clear our vision and strengthen our minds for the work to come. And may God bless America. You're not leaving again, are you, Dad? Probably. Hello, Rambert. Ah, it always comes back. Also, copyrightable music! How dare you! <laughs> now I have to sit here in silence for a brief period of time. And I don't know when it's going to be safe. Because I won't be hearing any of the music. Gosh darn it. But anyways, yeah, that was Splinter Cell. But we're not quite done yet. Because there are some DLC missions that I know exist and I believe I have installed on this version. So uh, we're going to go for those. I don't know how noteworthy they are. I don't remember what the story parts of them are. But we're going to be doing them. Seem to remember they used a copious amount of dogs in that. Don't remember. I, I don't like that. Don't remember liking that at all. Enjoy the silence. I don't. The silence means that I'm stuck here listening to my own thoughts and they're scary. I need to have something in my ears, otherwise I, otherwise my brain thinks things. Someone say something. Somebody, somebody make any music. Somebody make a funny noise. <laughs> Help. Help. Uh, special thanks to uh, Xbox Group. Is the music still? Yep. Still copyright. <laughs>
You know what that means. Meander! QA platforms. Mu mu oh, music. I see. All weapons, sound design and stuff. Oh, sound designs for this game. You did great. You did freaking amazing. Thank you so much. Please don't scare, stare at the camera. <laughs> Fish. Copyright attack. There. Right. So, um, yeah, God, my thoughts on the Splinter Cell stuff, like, uh, yeah, there's a reason why the third game is known as being, like, the best one, mainly because it was the first Splinter Cell that kind of felt fair. <laughs> this one, in a lot of in a lot of places, in a lot of cases, it did not feel fair. <laughs> like, it was really frustrating at certain times. It's still fun, though. I, and it's incredibly satisfying to be able to, like, pull off some of the crazy things that you can do in this game. You know? And that's the end of that. Oh, wow. No no after credit scene? Shoot. Hmm. Okie doke. Musical jump scare. Oh, we got cast as conductor. Congrats. Uh, anyway, so let's see. If we go back in here, there's all my save games. Good God. We have been playing this game for a long time on the stream, and we're not even done. So we go over to the levels here. Um, how many was there? So the Presidential Palace. So I think I think it's these three here. Colacell, uh, Selka Infra Infiltration, Selka Submarine. So yeah, three more levels. Potentially two or three more streams, depending on whether or not I can get through them really quick. Maybe, I, maybe just one. Who knows? BFF is Snatcher. Oh, he's everybody's BFF. Just, you know, he doesn't know it yet. So anyways, that will do it for this uh, stream of Splinter Cell. Check back next week, and we're going to take a look at some of the, you know, fun DLC. Which, by the way, D I mean, I don't seem to remember the DLC actually costing anything when it originally came out. I think it was just a case of, like, the developers had a little bit of extra time on their hands, and they're like, eh, let's go ahead and throw this together and release it. I think that, that that's kind of it. More streams, which means more murder, or lack thereof. Oh, your BFF got cast as Snatcher. Got it. <laughs> Understood. I thought you just meant Snatcher was your BFF. <laughs> this is fair. This is reason. Alrighty. So, that will do it for the stream. Thank you guys very much for coming out. I appreciate it a heck of a lot. My stream schedule, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. All of them starting at around 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. And like I said, next week we're going to be continuing Splinter Cell, albeit only in DLC form. So, you know, most of the story elements are done. Who knows whether or not the DLC actually connected with the main plot. I don't know. I don't know if it was a sequel or a prequel or if, or if they were just like, eh, this would be fun. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's happening um, next Wednesday. However, uh, Saturday we have been playing through Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and I am down to the final little bits of the post-game stuff. Apparently there's one more ending I haven't gotten. We're going to see what that is if I can manage to complete that, you know, that, that one particular challenge, which I don't know. We'll see. It's going to require a lot of focus on my part. Um, and then on Sundays, we tend to have some casual streams with me in a Discord call with a bunch of friends chatting and just chilling out. And I also play sort of a chill game that kind of doesn't take a whole lot of space inside my brain. So if you are interested in that, it's it's both chill and also we really derail on conversations. <laughs> We're just like we start one conversation, then another one, then another one, and another one. I don't know. It's like an ADHD dream. Alrighty, I am going to take off here. Again, thank you guys for coming out and watching the stream. It's been fun. See you next time.